You are watching Excess LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the July 24th, 2023 meeting of the LaPorte County Budget Hearings, Part 1. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportecounty.org. We'd like to call the LaPorte County Council Department Budget Hearings uh, on today, July 24th, 2023 to order. Would everybody please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the Republic, Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Councilman Yugowski. Present. Councilman Keel. Present. Councilman Rosenbaum. Present. Councilman Novak. Present. Councilman Kronka. Present. Councilman Molinar. Present. All seven are present. Thank you. Uh, we're going to begin with uh, a discussion about revenues. We it's important to know where money's coming in. So and because sometimes money is limited on how it can be spent. But we we want to talk a little bit about trends. And for that I'm going to turn over to Councilman Keel. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I asked uh, for for this part of the uh, meeting to be discussed about where we are in revenue. I thought that would be a good place to start the day and, and kind of to give us an overview of what do we actually have to spend before we talk about spending. Um, there's a packet of information that got distributed this morning thanks to Rondu who printed it off. Um, I apologize you didn't have a chance to look at it sooner. I finished it about 3 a.m. last night. So um, this data that's in this packet comes from uh, exports from Lao. So that's the source of the data, and this is just a compilation of that. On the first page of that 18-page packet, you'll see some uh, some summaries there. I took financial data from 2019 through uh, through present, and the main thing in that first box to pay attention to is just that our, our starting and ending cash balances and how we have been generally trending downward. There is a chart on the second page that shows that progression. Go ahead. Yeah. Feel free to interrupt if you have any questions. Can someone tell us? Line one, can someone tell us what the starting cash balance was for general fund in 23? It says year to date, but that's four million seven. Yeah, 4.7 million was the starting cash balance for general fund. January 1st? Yes. Yes. The year to date is, is to reflect that it's ongoing. So the ending cash balance obviously is not December 31st. That's as of like a week ago when the report was generated. So this is the starting balance, January 1st. Yep, $4.7 million for general fund. Thank you. And this is only the general fund. This is not any other funds. Um, the other two boxes below, you'll see major revenue sources and major expenditure sources. The major revenue sources that you see there are make up about 90% of the county's revenue sources. There's another, I don't know, 20 some plus sources, but those make up a much smaller portion. So those are your major sources of revenue. Um, you can see trends going on with those. There's some stuff in there that I, I have not yet been able to explain. Like, uh, for example, in 20, between 2021 and 2022, our property tax collections went down about 1.2 million. Um, I'm in the process of trying to figure out what, what caused that or what that means. And I'm also still trying to figure out what exactly is our projection for property tax revenues for this year. We received our first installment. <clears throat> which was larger than the first installment last year, but it's hard to tell whether or not people were paying their first installment of their property taxes at a higher rate uh, than last year or not, or where we are and what we're actually gonna bring in for that. Um, go ahead and flip to the second page, just shows the general progression of where we are starting in balances, uh, or balance, cash balances throughout the year. The black line is the six month moving average, so you can see the trend. <clears throat> Third page in the packet is, um, this year's starting cash balance, 4.7 million. First six months of expenditures, that's through uh, June 31st, or the end of June, uh, 28.5 million roughly. And first six months revenue, 28.35 million. So uh, June 2023 ending cash balance was 4.5 million. You'll notice the difference between um, this and the first page where it was ending cash balance was 3 million. That was year to date, so that included the, the couple weeks of July. <coughs> um, Average monthly revenue that does not include property taxes about 1.6 million. So when you project that out for the next, assuming that stays consistent over the next six months, that's another 9.5 million. And then our projected second installment of property taxes, assuming that it's the same amount as last year, that seems like a same, safe guess. 
is about 10.4 million. So we project about another 28.5 million over the next six months, which would have us with an ending cash balance of negative 4 million in the general fund, which is kind of a problem. Now there's some <clears throat> problems with this, these projections. We don't know exactly what revenues will be. We also don't know if expenditures will be exactly as what we're projecting here. But these are kind of safe guesses. And this isn't entirely out of line with, with what we reported to the DLGF in our 1782 report. That's that second box there. And you'll also find the full 1782 report in the back of this packet, kind of towards the end. We make projections every year about what we anticipate we're going to bring in in revenue and what we're going to spend out through appropriations. And the result of those projections last year, and I believe those were finalized November or so for 1782s, uh, that projection was that we would end the general fund with $119,000 in it. Now, you'll notice that we reported to the DLGF that that first line in that second box, we projected that we were going to start 2023 with $5 million in the bank. We instead started with $4.7 million. So we were already behind. So those projections of us ending with $119,000 are outdated. So just bear that in mind. Um, the fourth page is a comparison of the different revenue sources and different expenditure categories since 2019. Uh, the 2023 numbers are year-to-date, so they include a couple weeks of, of July. <clears throat> so this shows you all of the different sources of revenue. You can see their trends over time. Um, keep in mind that <clears throat> revenue streams are not entirely predictable. Sometimes they pay out on a consistent monthly basis, and it's the same. Sometimes there's more at the beginning of the year, more at the end of the year. Sometimes they make installments sometimes they come in late so there's all sorts of things in here that uh you know be careful with your extrapolating of it and then the next five pages are the full uh readout month by month for the general fund from 2023 to 2019 uh, you can see all the different categories the page was a uh, you know year by year breakdown this is a month by month so you can see more detailed trends <clears throat> And then the last portion of this packet is the uh, previous 1782 notice that we report to the DLGF. This tells you what we're budgeting for these different funds and things, a bunch of other data um, that's publicly available report. Um, and that basically concludes my summary of this. So if you guys have questions, feel free. Not really a question, um, more of a statement. <clears throat> I know that in the last... Uh, you said there were some numbers that didn't make some sense to you. 2019, 2020, and 2021, we went through a, a large uh, uh, sale of property. Uh, 19 in 20, I believe it was. If I'm got, if I believe the year I went, we have we have outside investors that are coming into our area, investing uh, heavy, uh, putting a lot of price. Where houses would sell five hundred dollars. They literally sold for fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. So we bought in like $10 million of revenue that year for stuff. So I mean, there's some numbers that have, now, now since then we've depleted a lot of the real estate that, of, of uh, tax owed real estate that we were selling. And a lot of the uh, commissioner's sale, which is the, after, after you have your first sale, you go into your commissioner's sale, which is, it's wide open to the market. Um, so I reported that a couple of years back that that, that was a surprising like I said, $10 million that came in uh, where people just spend crazy amount of cash on stuff. So, But those those are all drying up, too. So I know that you see, I see the numbers dropping down. I did wonder a little bit, Ms. Greve, I hate to put you on the spot, but <laughs> could you do you know for sure if when we have a tax sale, does that money go into the property tax uh, revenue line item on that report, the cash flow by accounts report, or is there a different line item that that revenue is coming into? Yeah, I do believe there's a separate tax sale line. There's two tax sales. There's a there's a tax sale you have where you just where you just have to pay your taxes back. There's the commissioner sale, which is different. I believe that doesn't go under tax sale. That goes back in the general fund. I'm not sure about that because I haven't been here for one. I understand, but, but I do know the tax sale is different. But there's two um, different. I'm just mentioning there's two different kinds yeah. of tax sales. So. <clears throat> And I could find that out for you quickly, though. I do know that when you look at the, the numbers that I pulled for property tax revenue, um, those only have amounts of money entering into that account twice per year, and they're both around settlement time. So um, well, that's not in there, right? It, it may not be in there. So Correct. Oh, well, we can check. I don't know the answer. I, I guess the broader point, unless you want to continue, about there's a, there's a number of, there's a number of different uh, interesting analytical aspects to this one would be just how the the revenue was only up about 
I was down about three million on your uh, chart from 2021 to 2022. Um, I think the, the gold standard. We want to thank you for uh, producing the uh, uh, the uh, second page, which is the the long term that shows the zigzagging chart of the general fund, and I think the upshot or conclusion to be made. And we can discuss this more tomorrow, or certainly if there's questions, uh, we there's some of this we would need to dig into to understand these and that these. Uh, these, some of these trends and some of these specific anomalies or not just anomalies it's it's there's a problem of course and then part of it's overspending in the general but again we have that revenue decline from 21 to 22 there on that first page second line um, but uh, the, your zig, the chart that you created uh, with the zigzag shows that uh, a, a, tr a trend that is uh, is is negative and uh, um, um, a recommendation obviously to start is just to to not be doing additional appropriations for the general fund for one but but also of course the budget hearings today and how you address uh i think there's that. there's two things to underscore here one is that we have a, a more imminent thing that we're going to have to consider here which is how do we make sure that we don't end the year with a negative cash balance in general which we're not allowed to do um and then as a longer term consideration is how do we make sure that next year's budget is um we have at least at the bare minimum a little bit of, of surplus in revenue over expenditures, which has not been the trend for the last three fiscal years. Which is not highly unusual with the COVID situation too. That, uh, yeah. Um, and I'm also not sure if it addresses how the ARP funds came in, the ARPA funds came in, so. I believe the ARP funds were put into their own separate account, right? Yeah, so they're not, not really factored into this. Okay. So, so on that same note, um, you know, I brought this up for the last couple of years, so I'll bring it up one more, I guess. Um, <clears throat> with this trend, a lot of our costs are employee costs. So, the, sure. yeah. so the, the things that we don't talk about, there were two holidays that were never on our list. The commissioners used to approve them every year. The name of seven days said, okay, from now on, that's going to be our our, that's going to be those two vacations added on. Last a couple of years ago, two years ago, I but I asked for it to take away from the voting day so that we could, which by the way, Michigan City does not have a voting day. They all work that day anyway. That we use that for that holiday for Juneteenth. The commission decided to make it a holiday. So now you're up to almost 16 holidays. Where's that? Get, where's that money coming from? We are getting blasted from areas that we can't control. Those are three additional holidays. We've that's a lot of holidays, including with everything we have. I know that we got we've got busted from some employees saying about the uh, uh, we don't take care of the older people type thing because of uh, what we have as far as longevity. Longevity was set based for the fact of trying to get uh, to get the cost basis down and have people work and retire earlier. So we want, we have the highest longevity. We set our record our rate higher than the four counties out there to offer a good bonus for people to leave. But you see the last couple of years, they've been coming in trying to change that. Um, uh, so on and so with insurance. Every year we've asked to do the insurance, but every year the council tends to get away from the idea with it, where we had originally set up. 25 cents, the employee pays 75 cents. It's 15 cents to 85 cents. We've got to get that number back up. We gave substantial raises last year. We should have looked at that seriously, more serious, because it's the cost basis that we haven't had. I know that uh, they offer this clinic down and stuff, and I know where the money's coming from. It's supposed to be by, generated by money, but that money was going back into the insurance fund so they would take care of it. So there is a $35,000 a month cost to that. Now, they say it's free. Nothing's free. It's coming out of a fund. Uh, so with that, what do we do when we keep giving away things? When do we have to make things right for our, our own accounts? We like I said we gave a substantial raise last year for a lot of employees, but we have to we have to get our other checks and balances put back in place, and we can't allow the commissioners to control our budget. We've got to be able to control our own budget. Thank you. Are there any other comments before we begin our public hearing with the department heads? Well, we're on that same subject, I would add to Mr. Yagelsky's statement that uh, on top of the commissioners uh, adding days and so forth, it seems to me that we're kind of negligent in department heads giving additional time off. Well, like fourth of the day before the 4th of July, we're going to take off at noon. 
That's not our holiday schedule. We're going to close. A lot of offices are closing at 3.30. You start multiplying another half hour times the number of employees. There's, it, I just don't think we have a very good checks and balances. Uh, 20 years ago, some people on the council, probably Mr. Yagelski, were saying, you know, we need a five in, five in, five out. That time, time clock was in here. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think there's a lot of uh, what I call loose ends. Any other comments before I make some? I just want to make sure I'm giving everybody an opportunity. Um, there's a, I agree with the, we do have an issue with uh, personnel where we may be in some departments a little fluff. And we, you know, I talked about doing an efficiency study and um, there was no interest, even though I did get some pricing on it and partial pricing, it was not cheap. It was going to come out to a couple hundred thousand dollars and so therefore it never came to light. Um, while we go through these hearings, it would be good to start thinking about how through attrition we can possibly do this. And I don't want to pick any specific department or anything like that, but we, we, we do see some places where people are asking for more people, so we're going to need to dive into that while we're going through the budget hearings, even though we're not doing the 100 accounts to prove them at this time. The other thing that I did ask is that people tell us what their what their capital costs would be for next year or large or large costs, not necessarily to put it in the budget, but to also let us get some a handle on what we're looking at next year. Um, and the other uh, the other item that um, I did ask to start getting into the budget was some of the expenses that we've been annually using um, other funds to pay for, whether it be um, a maintenance contract, um, because, you know, when we get surprises like we're going to have tonight, $151,000 for a maintenance contract, a five-year contract, um, that's not easy to handle when all of a sudden it just comes up out of the blue once every five years. So um, we, we're trying to eliminate some of that as we go through and try and smooth out the budget for the year. Uh, enough being said there, I, I do see that we'd like to start with building maintenance, and I do see the department head available. If you wouldn't mind coming up, we'd like to start the discussions. Thank you. Morning, Mr. President, Council. Morning. Good morning. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to lead with on on some of the uh, talking about some of the increases in your budget, or would you? Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone has different questions about different things, so I'll just follow you guys' lead. Would anybody like to lead with a question? Okay, I I'm going to lead. There is um, several increases in the 100 accounts. Not that we're going to vote on them, but um, one of them is um, uh, one of them's $5,700 for a secretary administrative assistant. 90,000 in extra part-time help, 182,000 in janitors, and 87,000 in maintenance. And at the same time, we're looking to increase janitorial services, 33,000 and change. So just in the, that alone, all of those money is equal to about a 1% raise for everybody. So if we give this here, then everybody's getting 1% less in, in, in a potential possibility of a raise. So I'm trying to figure out how many new employees you're trying to hire. So, um, with the in relation to the part time, um, I've been supplementing the lack of having full time staff to, uh, and the majority of it is in the housekeeping area because we we had five, basically five housekeepers for all of the uh, property that we're responsible for maintaining the cleanliness of. So I've been supplementing that with part timers. Uh, the challenge with that is. I have to work with the part-timers availability and still try to get the same amount of work done. Uh, if I had uh, additional full-time staff that I could uh, schedule and place in um, a couple locations to work with the part-timers in, in uh, their varied availability, that would better equip us to be more efficient in uh, our cleaning tasks. So I think it was, was it three we were looking at for uh, housekeeping? Five. Five. So yeah. Uh, it was a total of five, and all, I think all of the costs were calculated into that. Uh, okay, um, I'm not sure it fully answered what I wanted, but I'll come back to it. I'd like to yield to Mr. Yugoski. Thank you. 
this this was before your administration. <clears throat> they said they had a lot of problem. <clears throat> Excuse me, hiring a lot of uh, people. We, uh, I helped. I know hire three part time people. Uh, they have all, all since left because you've rearranged your schedules for them, and they've left. You've had the opportunity. You've had the opportunity to get that part time people to continue to work. We have not had a problem. We've had a great. I know I can say in Michigan City, I've heard nothing but compliments when the three employees were working there. So I don't see the. I don't see your rationale of full time employees that we can't supplement part time with because it's worked well in the past. We have brought people in. One, two. Not your fault, but our hiring practices, I brought it up with HR situation before. We don't need a college educated person to do janitorial work. Even if a person has some blemish on their record, does not mean that we can't hire them, but unfortunately we, do, we don't. And that's, that's an unfortunate part for us. I mean, for people cutting grass or anything that we can possibly do, we still, we still are very stringent on that. And we don't give, we don't give a fair shot for people to get back into the uh, workforce by that re that, re that rationale of not, not using that purpose of hiring. I don't, I, again, I'm simply amazed to the comment that full-time people fixed the problem when part-time people were doing a successful job. And I got, we've got nothing but compliments on what the part-time people have done. I do, I do have, I do taken back by changing schedules, but we've lost the people now they've, they've quit and so on and so forth. I can only think of uh, one person under uh, my direction that quit, and it was their decision. Uh, I offered several alternatives for them to complain you, you to continue employment with the county. Um, I offered uh, one. We have multiple vehicles that could transport people from different locations, so it, they had the option to work in uh, Laporte or Michigan City. Uh, and the reason for the schedule change, people were. Uh, coming in at three o'clock in the morning and leaving at eight a.m., and I was not able to efficiently monitor uh, what they were getting done, where they were working, and we found that it was more effective to have people come in starting at two thirty, three o'clock when the offices were closing, and then we were able to fully make a better, um, I guess, go around of getting the the daily tasks completed. Um, since I've been here, I've hired probably 12 or 13 part-time people. So one person leaving, I don't think it impacted as much as the amount of people we added to supplement what we don't have in full-time people. And uh, some people work a couple hours a week. Some people work a couple days a week. I have a couple that work four to five days a week. And those were people that would be ideal for uh, full-time positions if, if the council were to approve those. So. Uh, we have over 30 bathrooms, in, like almost private bathrooms, in the Michigan City Courthouse, in addition to the public spaces that still have to be maintained and cleaned daily. Uh, there are floors, um, the, the the square footage of the LaPorte Courthouse, I mean, the Michigan City Courthouse is doubled. So the same amount of staff, it's just, it's not humanly possible, despite our best efforts to do that amount of work with the same amount of staff. I know it, it's easy to say we can do more with less, but we can do more with more is the reality. Okay, well, I, I have talked with the attorneys, with the offices, and they were very happy what was going on. I have heard nothing but compliments again. So it wasn't like it was a disarray. The, the schedule worked well, and that's, that's how we were getting people to come in. We don't pay it enough for them to, to come in full time. They, they have other jobs. Mm -hmm. So they're working part time, and they're coming in, and the work is being done. If their work wasn't done, I'm surprised because, I again, I went through the offices, and they said they had nothing but compliments. That's a positive for your department, but it's not. They have not said that they're lacking of none of those facilities being clean. I think they had got used to having less. And a, a um, different opinion. I'm sorry. Yeah. Mr. Kiel. Um question on the, so the number of employees that you're proposing to increase your staff by. How many paid full time and how many paid uh, part time individuals are you looking to increase it? Uh, the the part time I didn't have an exact number on it. I went off a percentage of what based off what we're doing now and what the calculation would be if all market probably another five to ten for uh, part time housekeeping uh, because we still need to fill the the spaces where we don't have full time people that we know guarantee because the 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 challenge with hiring part time people. And, and that's kind of goes to what Councilman Yagelski was saying. They have full-time jobs, and 
the the amount that we pay and we appreciate what we pay. I don't start everybody at that max because we want to see how they work out. You know, because people will come and work a couple of weeks for just a paycheck. So, and I don't want to, you know, encourage that. So we start them a little less than what the max you allow, and then over the course of a few months, we get them up there. If you know, if they show that they're going to be around, and and we can count on them. But the uh, challenge is, we may have days that we don't have anybody to cover certain areas because of everybody's varied schedules, and then um, with the availability from people in their full time jobs, like for instance, we have one. In Employee that's a, a full-time person at a, 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 I guess, manufacturing plant, and they had them on mandatory 12-hour shifts, which took them away from time that they were able to give to the county. So we had to rearrange staff in, in, in those instances. So the, the goal is to be able to cover everything daily. The, the way it had been working, um, there were areas of cleaning that just were not getting done. Um, like say they do certain bathrooms on one day or they do mopping on one day or vacuuming on another day. When you don't keep up the cleanliness, it, it causes wear and tear on the equipment, the furniture, the flooring and things that will end up replacing at a much higher cost than if we were to just clean them uh, regularly. So. so so these are five to 10 new newly created positions just part-time, yeah, part-time. Okay, and then what about full-time positions? How many new full-time positions are you proposing? Are there five? Five new full-time? Um, and so are all of those contained under the uh, 10151 janitor's account, or are there other spots where these people would be? Is it under maintenance? Yeah, also? under maintenance also, 87,000 there, 182 in maintenance. Yeah, yeah. so the, yeah, the, that was just the housekeeping was the... Okay, yeah. and then I'm, so I'm wondering if we're increasing the number of staff, um, why are we also increasing uh, is janitorial services our employees or is that like outside contractors or what's the difference between janitors 10151 and janitorial services 220 so most of the janitorial services are supplies we, we supply all the paper goods all the hand soap sanitizers all the cleaning supplies for all the facilities and What's Those are because we're cleaning more, we're using more, and some of the costs have increased. It's a $33,500 increase. It's, yeah. it's probably conservative. So you're saying that line should be renamed to janitorial supplies instead of janitorial services? Well, some uh the services, like with, uh, uh, I don't know if we should name companies, but we, we have service contracts with certain companies to do like our mats and uh, the paper towel holders and those, those are uh, things that are contractual so they're a fixed cost. That's not broken down on this line? Uh, no. So if, if it is a cost to maybe separate those so they're better to identify then that may be something we should look at. I'm noticing there's a 50% increase to pest control grounds maintenance from $20,000, which is the total budget this year, to $30,000. Actually, yeah. I guess our adopted budget was $14,000. Well, I, I didn't catch the, the beginning. Pest problem. control ground uh, right. grounds maintenance, $236,000. Um, what's, the, what's the background behind that increase? So, well, we I don't know what it is about this year. We've had a lot more insect activity, so that's part of it. Um, we've had to send... Uh, the pest control company out multiple times for certain locations for treatment of uh, insects um, and uh, that's been something that we're already we had to do a couple transfers to accommodate what we've already done this year to uh, to satisfy those needs and then the grounds is uh, part of that is with uh, pest control for you know rodents and as well as what it takes to maintain our grounds we still have to mow and treat for uh, uh, pests and stuff outside too so that's all. so we've got a considerable increase in pest control services correct that's all I got for now okay uh, go ahead please well uh, why is the water softener salt going up why are we using projecting more for next year um so i don't i don't not to knock on anyone or it seemed like we were not softening the water and it was causing us to do more repairs in certain areas because the water softener work was not being used so we are using the water softener so the uh the cost has gone up but but you've only used 
$3,600 so far, but 10000 for next year? <clears throat> no, they, they've uh, used 5000 oh. under the 23. Oh, never mind. Yeah. What's that? So it's going to be twice as much? One second. Which one is that? Water software count 20265. Is that one we moved on into our record? I'm trying to think of hold our balance our balance right now. Let's see how more question about the janitors. Well, we're not going to create the we're not even going to discuss that part. We're not going to prove that part today. That's true, I'm sorry. But I want you to doubt right it. Transport, oh, okay. This is crazy. Yeah. Does he forget that this twenty thousand dollars on top of the cost for each one? There's still four. There's three. I have a bathroom. Everything's got to be clean. I can't hear anything. He judges every single thing. Those are three. We. Twelve eleven. Five three. No. It's two hundred. Explain that to them. <clears throat> okay. Question on. Um, Repair area handlers um, increased from 30,000 to 16,000, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know, unfortunately, it's only it was 2022 where we spent 14,172. What do you see the increase in the air handlers? I um, want we have we have more air handlers because of uh, the um, Michigan City Courthouse and some of those, the issues with um, the HVAC and the air handlers were coming out of major repairs. So we'd rather uh, itemize it and be more specific about how we're using those funds so it doesn't take away from other things. So major repairs are going down by that amount of money then? So in not exactly that amount. Well, I mean, that's what I said, because if it's going to be an expenditure, we need to know about it, fine, let's get it, then we should just bring it up coming up at, a, at, a, at our regular meeting. There's no reason to increase it just because you're going to project an increase. That doesn't make any sense to me. So. Um, and if Michigan City should not have no problems, it's new, it's under warranty, there should be no issues with, with any air handlers in Michigan City right now. Well, it's projections. I'd rather... Yeah, I don't want to project can, too much. ...and make uh, decisions to know what we're doing next year versus waiting until there's a, 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 a crisis or we're out of funds, then... Crisis is understandably, but this is not a crisis. This is a budget. So what we do then is if you have expenditures through the year, you come back to the council, and then we can address them as seem fit. We don't just throw money at, at, at the wall and say it doesn't work that way. Um, if you guys want to do it individually, we have to knock some. I'm, I'm going to ask for I, I have one more question first. And I believe Councilman Novak's question was left open okay. still. Did they answer it about the water softener? Uh, no. We have nothing left in the water softener account. So I'm not sure if it, what you have is updated or not. So, so you spent 5000 4500 I got $5,043. Could have been today in the spring. That's what he just said. Yeah, we had a... $5,043. And you're asking for $10. Do you anticipate it being over $4,000 more in salt? We're halfway through. Yeah, we're with what, where we are currently, and we still have roughly, you know, five months four or five months left in the year, then if we do what we're doing this year, next year, yes. Are you buying truck loads at a time? Skid loads, yeah. Skid loads? Yeah. One quick question back on the full-time people. Is that putting a full-time maintenance person at the fairgrounds? Is I, that built into that? It's accounting for that, not where there's somebody just at the fairgrounds in case something happens, but additional personnel. So, and part one of the housekeeping staff we wanted would be so uh, they could be more dedicated for the fairgrounds because a, a lot of the uh, work that has to go up that we pull people away from other things. Done. Okay. You done, Mr. President? Uh, I did have one more question. If, if you, okay. Um, Trash removal, I'm sorry, trash remo removal, that is uh, contractual, correct? Correct. And so therefore that's the increase by the contract? Correct, and we've added, we've had to, uh, we, we've increased the locations. We had uh, Roller Prairie that was added. We have... Um, but you're also taking away a Roller Prairie facility also? 
eventually. Correct. That one. Yes. But you added an EMS. And you added the EMS. But you added the EMS. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. That's the one thing I wrote. Mr. President. Yes, sir. I'd like to make a motion to approve the budget for 2023. Values for, for 2024. It's August. It's August. We, we have um, a motion to approve the 23 rates and a second by Mr. Cunningham. Any other discussion? Uh, yes, sir. So looking at the bottom of the budget, you see a request for an additional $50,000 for maintenance for a new line item for the fairgrounds. We, being that we're now approving the t what's tabulated in front of us, is that left open and we're unapproved? That's not the, that's not $50,000 at the bottom of the page. Are you looking at the same thing we are? Yes. All right. Just want to make sure because in the years past they haven't. But at the bottom it says additional um, fifty thousand dollars. Where does that fall into this here, or is that <laughs> we're looking to line that uh, to add that line item? So the fairgrounds has a more dedicated source of funding um, to do the repairs that are necessary out there. Yes, we so are we going to have one for the Laporte Courthouse, Michigan City Courthouse? 8th Street, this building, Hyler Building, all the different buildings? If the council... All the different properties? We could, um, but it seems as if the fairgrounds only recently came into the control of the maintenance department and it was never funded. There was never an increase. Well, I take that back. I think, obviously, we funded a lot of stuff out there, but I don't know if it was ever added into the budget. But. It wasn't. I don't know, I guess I'm kind of apprehensive about some of these things. There's a lot more that I think needs looked into, and I know we're not approving the 100s, but uh, I don't know, I, I have a lot of heartburn. Wait, I'm 26, I don't have heartburn yet, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> it could happen. <laughs> but uh, but uh, I don't know, I think this one ought to be held over. I don't want <clears throat> to do that for a lot of departments, but I, I think this one deserves a little bit of additional scrutiny. Well, if you, if uh, what in this, you can still, any time during the end of the year, you can always change. We can always amend it. We can yeah. spend well, all the way it. till the end. Once you once you get it, you can do it anytime. <clears throat> this is this is not stopping you. You, you can come back and say, "I'd like to mm. come back to building maintenance." Mr. Uh, oh, auditor, could you give us one more time the state approved increase? Four percent. Um, well, it was a four percent maximum levy growth caution. Um, the, send it out in an email. Yeah, it was the email I just sent out. Was, uh, 1. 1. 1.6 million, roughly. Percentage wise, 4%. 4%. Well, it's 4% increase point. of the property tax revenue, which is not all of the revenue. Right. And my point is this this building maintenance proposal is a 16% increase from last year's budget. And we just got done talking about it. we're not sure we have enough money to cover some of these things. So, how can we even be thinking about approving a budget? The first one on the Budget hearing, approving a budget with a 16% increase. I will just note I will not comment on any of those spending requests or items or their merit, but uh, it right. does it does eat up about one quarter of that 1.6 million, obviously. And and I would also note that 1.6 million is not a guarantee. The circuit breaker caps result in a, a lowered amount, so we might say that we're going to get 1.6 million, assuming that you know it goes up the maximum uh, levy growth quotient, but that doesn't mean that we'll collect all of that. Correct. It'll be less. Yeah, there's there, there's un, there's definitely uncertainty there in both directions, but probably more likely in, in your direction. Um, uh, I won't go into all that, but uh, um, increased assessments tend to. Of course, on the other hand, the, I think the assessor is saying that the assessments are only up four or five percent versus ten percent last year. So that yeah, it's probably more likely to go in the direction that you're worried about. I guess at the minimum, um, Mr. Kelsky, would you consider clarifying in your in your approval whether or not we're including the fifty thousand dollars for fairground maintenance, and um, ask perhaps that uh, we get some more details about some of these increases, the breakdowns by line item that are, where there's an increase, what that increase is due to. So it's in writing. If we want, to, no, sir. If we want to add at a future time the building and maintenance, that's a different program, different question altogether, because we've been funding that separate. So that's not included in your motion to approve, no, sir. Okay. So we have a motion and a second on the floor. Is there any other further discussion? Can we, we're confused about the motion, if you could restate The motion was to keep it in the 23 values for 2024. Yes, that's right. got it. That's without anything extra. One more, is that a freeze? Is that what you're saying? Yes. 2023, okay. Yeah. One more quick question. Sure. 
$500 in radio repairs. How many radios? I, I just me, but I've never seen anybody carrying a radio. They all carry radios. Do they? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Um, I thought they all had cell phones. They have cell phones, but it's easier, you know, if, if guys are working and just check it. Yeah, all right. they all carry radios. Housekeeping also. I'll say I misunderstood uh, Councilman Yukowski's uh, motion, so keeping it the same, cool with that. Any other comments? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any nays? Okay, motion carried. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Can I can I ask a quick housekeeping thing? Where did 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 not no no not you Sean? Did they were the department heads allowed to put in increases for employees outside of steps? Just just I just want to know what I'm looking at. Some departments did. Usually Clearly they can put anything in they want. They're not supposed to. Is my understanding? Yes. Right. Besides that's my steps. understanding. I just wanted to make sure that. That's why we went and had the discussion on right. the accounts in that so, department because that was the right. most aggressive mm -hmm. of all the departments. Okay, um, we're now up to the surveyor. If you would be so kind, President, motion to approve one hundred six as read. Motion to approve one hundred six as read. Um, as presented, we have a, a motion to approve as presented. Is there a second? I would second with the uh, comment that it is a two-tenths of one percent increase. Okay, so we have a first and a second. We also have one comment. Would anybody else like to comment? 2.3%. Okay, before we do that, was there anything that you'd like to present or say? No. Okay, thank you. We we just we would just clarify, if I may, that it's I think it's a, actually a two to two two to three percent increase. It Point looks. Three. 2.3% increase, thank you. So we're looking to approve the 183-322 amount. On which account? Two and three hundred? One and three. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at the whole thing. We're only looking to do the 200 and 300. Yes, so there's no increase. No increase. Yes. That's what I can't say. No, all right. My mistake. I misread the line. Increase. He was wrong. Yeah, okay, was we have a motion and a second. Second. Oh. And is there any? Drainage is separate, right? Um, drainage is separate. Okay. Um, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any nays? Motion carries. Okay, we move on to the drainage board. Um, there's very few accounts uh, on here, uh, on the two on the two hundred and three hundred accounts. There, I, mean, I do have a comment and question. There's three of them that have nominal amounts of money spent so far this year, and I'd like either zero or ten dollars. So. Is there a reason to keep these accounts at these levels, or is there a possibility to reduce them? And I'm talking about engineering costs can happen at any time, so let's not say we touch that's, that. That's 100. The, um, oh, I'm sorry. Below that. Um, office supplies. Sean's first time. And then uh, publishing are the two that I referred to. Yeah, the publishing, sometimes it goes beyond rarely. But sometimes we get hit at the end of the year for things that happen on the summer or late fall. It's a nominal amount of six hundred and thirty-eight dollars. So yeah, and four eighty. I know. I I just saw nothing, and so yeah, we 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 never know what we're going to hit with legally. With we have a couple things we're working on right now. We have three things that might need publishment, so we we leave them there. It's such a small amount, but we have to legally notify. Anybody on the council have a, a question? Motion to approve. We have a motion to second. approve to, and a second. As presented. As presented. Um, is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Nays? <clears throat> Hearing no nays, motion carries. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Bye. We're moving on to Parks and Rec. Morning. 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 You came alone. Yeah. My God. I don't have that big a staff. <laughs> <laughs> somebody has to work. Yeah, I guess somebody has to be here. <laughs> so. Okay. 
Does anybody on the council have any questions? Motion to approve as presented. We have a motion to approve as presented. Do I have a second? Second. We have a second. Any comments or questions? I did have one. I, I was looking at trail maintenance. We have a fair number of trails. They're ever increasing. Um, do you feel like 3,000 is actually enough to cover all of that trail maintenance? Or do you just typically come back for an additional appropriation if it's a more sizable project? If it's a sizable project, just like I did for the uh, ARP funds this year, I mean, we don't have to do trail like sealing and that kind of thing every year. Um, I think we, we had a project this year that should be starting pretty soon that was about 39000 I would never put that into my budget unless I know it's coming and I would ask for that during budget times. Um, 3000 is for, for minor stuff if we need gravel or patch you know that we can do or, or, or minor, minor stuff like that but if it was a bigger project I would I would let you know about it ahead of time possibly the year before and then ask for that during budget or ask however you wanted me to do that. Which leads me to my next question you may have heard Councilman Rosenbaum and some of the rest of us are uh, big fans of capital projects plans have you projected out you know major projects that you think might be coming out or being brought before us in the next three to five years do you have some sort of internal um, yeah, I mentioned that. a few of those in an email just recently, um, but yeah, I mean, I don't have that all like a, a major plan written out, but I could definitely do that. There are some things we, we want to do. There are some old uh, AC units and things like that that over the next five years we definitely probably need to be replacing, and I can definitely come up with those over the next, you know, months easily to... to I would to appreciate that. Those. Yeah. We can yeah, do. and... And um, I did receive the email, and it was about some of the air handlers. One is kind of failing. We're not sure how well it's going to make this year or not. And yeah. They need to be addressed. That would, it would come to us. And then there's a second one on that same building that was put in place, obviously, the same time. Same age, yeah. And so, therefore, that one will has the potential of also blowing out soon we, enough. We've yeah. had to work on both of those. Like I said, Doug has come out several times over the past several years, and it's it's always questionable whether those parts are going to be available. That building was built in 2002, so you're, you know, you're, you're and pushing these, the... And these out. costs come from them, not out of the facilities. Yeah. Okay. Any other comments or questions? We had a motion on the floor. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any nays? Hearing none, motion carries. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We do appreciate you always working with your uh, rec board to um, and your fund to help support all things yep. so that everybody has an invested interest. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I wanted to just go mention something before we bring up HR. Um, Building maintenance, it, I became alerted that there are some issues with a couple of elevators, and so we're going to have to deal with those. I'd like to discuss that. We have, uh, um, I, I have not got any, he has not got me any of the figures for that. Um, they will always tell you I work with elevators, unfortunately, with my job mm -hmm. every day of my life. I've heard for 20 years the elevators, to be honest with you, the newer stuff you put in the elevators is actually worse than the old clapperboard stuff for thing because if one computer uh, uh, goes wrong, chip goes wrong, it kills the whole board. He said he had a bunch of calls. I asked about that. We didn't have those calls of people getting trapped, trapped, trapped in elevators and stuff like that. So I wanted to see a true statement what came out. That was not what was presented at the last meeting. Okay. I just wanted to bring it up. I meant to bring it up when he was here. And... The elevator in Michigan City, the public library, the public library, bear with me. The public elevator in Michigan City courthouse is out. Was out last week and been out for a while. Hope we have a good. Hope we have a good warranty. Is that, you know, it's just curious. So the company. It's new, isn't it? it's new. The company we're using is not Otis, and it evidently there's a. Uh, they're not the best at responding. So. Hmm. We need a new contract. Yeah, that would. The garage door on one of the garage doors doesn't open either. So. Hope we have. You know what, uh, Mr. Novak? That's a good point. We've done things here in, in, that we have done here in our own courthouse in the port, and. We find that we we tend to find out that yeah. if there's anybody checking the warranties and stuff like that. If I may object, that the thing that's coming down is the letter, the email that Jeremy had sent. I had made a copy for your binders, so it's three hole punched for you. And just to let the public know, the three things were the Red Mill, um, Smith Hall, 
the AC, uh, HVAC systems, Green Fleet Vehicle Grant, we um, have a matching grant that we were awarded uh, for two electric Ford Lightnings and one public charger. Um, so um, there's some costs that we'll have to fund. Um, and then there is, uh, they're also looking to explore putting on um, solar panels on some of the roofs. So therefore, roofs. So therefore, um, that would also be something for us to look at in the future. So those were their capital improvements. Thank you. Now, as we have human resources here. Mr. President? Yes. <clears throat> okay, educational training. Uh, what, did you, what did you see the increase in that? Which one? Educational training. It is uh, 30027. That's a $500 increase. Right. But we, we spent, would you elaborate on that? We spent it 1350 in 2022. That is because I am looking to uh, look into take getting my SHARM certification. So that would be a w one year. Yes. Okay. I don't know if this is under subscriptions or advertising, but um, services like ZipRecruiter or um, something equivalent to that. Uh, are we providing those services like that advertising for all of the county's departments or does each department? Each department has been doing their own. Um, that's how it, they've done it. But um, we can look into possibly just doing like a centralized cost for that. Um, as you know, that 1800 is not enough for, not nearly. for just one subscription. So so in your unless something's changed in 2022 we spent uh, back to the same question with the training we spent 13 50 so if you take that plus the increase we're looking at 1150 for the uh educational training is going to cost you that much for your class possibly, possibly yes possibly mm -hmm. because that is there i believe it's 1350 for the sharm certification because of the testing and the uh course materials that goes with it Uh, professional services, 30135, went from $2,000 to $3,000. Can you give us some background on that? That is based on our uh, projected 2024 hiring. We do have people that are retiring at the end of the year and going into 2024, the uh, background screenings that we do because we're doing them for everyone, including volunteers and uh, part-timers as well. So that is projected on the people that, the amount of people that are retiring, leaving or going. Um, because our turnover rate has been pretty quite high. So we're projecting that on a 2024 uh, hiring increase. So that services like background checks, but yes. drug testing, mm -hmm. is that separate? Drug testing should be separate, right? Yeah, there's different line items oh. for it. <clears throat> Mr. President. Yes, sir. Motion to approve as presented. It includes a 1.2% increase over the 23 budget. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any other second. discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any nays? Hearing none, motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. We now move on to planning and zoning. <laughs> Exciting times. Morning, Council. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> Mr. President, there's nothing to approve on the 134 accounts. Correct. So we move on to the contractor registration fee planning and zoning. So we have the increase of um, $1,000 for office supplies. You have $800 from last year. We had 717 from 2022. What's the increase there? Uh, we anticipate that we're going to spend that much when we get moved back into our new office. It's hard to estimate that. Uh, some of those costs have been covered that we didn't expect to be covered, but uh, we're still operating at a remote location. So. Okay, so you're your 400 hours for postage um that's because you're remote no no on that 
we use the the county resources, but like like the surveyor, we could get hit with stuff by the end of the year, or if we have to send out um, uh, the green cards uh, certified stuff like that. So it's there if we need it. We don't always ha get hit with it, but sometimes we do. Just like uh, Mike, when Schultz does the same thing, if there's a green, or if he sends out stuff, you just have to come to the council for an increase because you you didn't spend anything in 2022, so. <clears throat> It's maintenance contract service. Thank you. Can I ask a question? Maintenance contracts. Maintenance contracts. Okay, so it looks like uh, we're right on par, right? It's increased it, that's all. Mm, no. I don't see any. Contracts 40,000. Maintenance contracts. The adopted budget was at 41,307. It's kind of confusing the way. I should wrote this backwards, okay? Yeah, it's backwards. Yeah. I'm sorry, it was backwards. Excuse me. Okay. I, I wrote the same comment and then realized it now. Mr. President. Motion to approve as presented. We still have other comments, don't worry. We have a motion to approve as presented. Do I have a second? Second. We have a second. We have a motion and a second. And we have further discussion. I have Mr. Novak that would like to make comment. How are we, how's the online permitting? going uh i'm not happy with it at all with the service or with just doing it in general i the public cannot st still cannot even process a simple deck permit online this is this is we were promised a lot better and that's not what we're getting but you're not condemning the public no no no, oh, no right. i'm so not it sound I, like they, no, they don't have the ability no, well, they they don't have the ability because our vendor is All right. slacking, <clears throat> and I've been on them for two years, conferences, communications back and forth. Uh, they did finally migrate us to a newer system called Geo Permits. It's better, but it's plagued with inefficiencies and bugs it still doesn't do what i want it to do is there a program out there that that communicates with the health department with the septics this not that, that works for everything not really um when we when we under undertook this venture it was hoped that it would be a one-stop shop it would serve every department that had inspections uh, and, re and that was a couple years ago. In reality, that hasn't happened. So so if somebody gets a septic permit, somebody's coming for a building permit, you can't look to see that the septic permit's been approved. Or do you get that? We have a system in place, Okay, but it's not through the, the right. software. Where You're communicating that? Right, yes. All right, good. Who's the vendor for this? That's that's Beacon. Is that Beacon one? Snyder. And I, I will say this. I love their GIS platform. And and the overlays, like when I'm doing mapping and I need to check legal drains, wetlands, zoning labels, that's all good. And that's what they're good at. They're not good at being a permitting and inspection software though. And it feels like it feels like it's so hard to get, it's like they're reinventing the wheel. So this is what I'm doing. How far are we into the contract? I think we have a year, an annual contract with them. And, th and this is what I'm doing, other than giving them m many, many chances to make it right and, and keep with them. I'm now going through, I'm meeting other vendors and we're doing demos. Right and I'm looking at what they have to offer. And I've been impressed with some of it. I had one last week. Thing is, when I asked them how much it costs, they didn't give me a straight answer. <laughs> so, you know, I'm looking at capabilities. I'm gonna compare costs. We're, we're, we're using two different software programs. I've got staff going into one program, backing out of that, going into another one. You gotta search through pages to find things when it all, it, it should be easier. It should be less clicks, Less pages, more efficient. That's what I'm going for. We're not there yet, but I'm not happy with I what haven't, we got. I haven't pulled a building permit in a while, but there was at one point talk of taking a tablet out and having a barcode on the 
building permit and the inspector just shows up, hits it, and all the paperwork pulls up right there. He doesn't have to carry every binder, everything with him. Everything's electronic on a tablet. Is that, that reality or is that dreaming? That sounds absolutely great. That is the Flintstones, the Jetsons that I'm trying to accomplish. I don't believe it can happen with the current vendor, oh, but we're looking. Okay. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes, <clears throat> when you mentioned the current vendor, uh, when he passed this when he passed this ten years ago, uh, is this the same vendor from ten years ago? Yes. So in ten years I'm at to John, you that wasn't on it wasn't on yours. We haven't learned anything in ten years. I'm just curious. Well, um, a couple of years, because like, it, 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 it was a long time going. Yeah, so if I've, if I've been at it two years, mm -hmm. um, the first year I was just trying to stay above water. I'm going All right. The, the, the second year, um, I'm communicating with them, and they're promise, promising me the stars, but not delivering. So I'm, I, I'm going, you know, I'm bending over backwards to give them more time and say, well, what about this? Well, we'll try this, or we'll try that. All right, you got till end of the third quarter. Do you believe they're honoring a contract? Are they doing everything they promised so far? Oh, sorry. Yeah, thank you. If they are, it's I'm still not happy with it. It's substandard. It's not working for what they need. Right. We're, we're, we're trying to reinvent the wheel. Right. They're great at GIS. They're great at mapping. They're great at overlays. They're not a permitting and, and, and inspection. But, uh, but, but under contract, there there's a performance part of the contract. I know we, we, we helped right get that thing to. So if they're not doing the performance part, then file file your paperwork to, to no and void the contract. So and it's sometime between now and next year we expect to hear that there's a new vendor coming. Then yeah, I uh, I mean if it's not if it's not working, and we need something different. We got plenty of attorneys. We got plenty of attorneys, so it's that right. this so it gets fixed this, or this because it's not been two years; it's been ten years. To be totally honest with you, and I get it's not under your. It watch. hasn't been ten. You just had. A, I haven't been here ten years. Ten years ago, we signed a kind of jerk when, when um, we we introduced. Okay, it, we had the first thing that they we're going to do that ten years. We signed a contract. He has been here since Abraham, yes. and he knows. Um, um, it was here, Mr. Gar Mr. Garner, and I passed that ten years ago, sir. Just mentioned to him. I'm just saying the contract with Beacon. I've done think. since I've been here. That's what I'm talking about. That's what oh, that's what you're yes, talking about. Okay, I'm talking about the other one. Sorry. Uh, right. uh, Blueprints is is good software, right? But they, it's Flintstones. But we want Jetsons. That's my point. Okay. Okay. That's Hope everybody understands. Do we need to explain? Yeah, and it's it's a cartoon years ago. Yeah, it's looking after it. Right? Blueprints is okay. Um, the cartoon years ago. But we need. I want to move us to more cloud-based, modernized, futuristic, more efficient. That's what I'm looking for. And this, these things, you know, I keep giving them chances. Um, I also have. A full plate with gravy dripping off the side. So I'm not, you know, I come back to it. I come back to it. I give them three months. I come back to it. Um, this is just one item, right? Mr. But, but this is my goal. This is where we want to be in the future. Okay, Mr. As much, Michael, is there so much as I appreciate where you're coming from, Mr. Pollan, and you and I have talked about this. From my experience, this is more not so much of a budget discussion as it is a capital project discussion because not only are we going to have to bring in a new vendor, but we're also going to have to replatform whatever database information you already have, what we have from an IT standpoint. So, is it? It's great discussion. Is it? Does it have any merit on what we're trying to approve right now? No. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's that? You pay maintenance on wood frame. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, we have we have contracts and we pay uh, biannually on both. And I, I I am interviewing a new vendor right now. Like I said, they've shied away on the cost, which makes me leery. I like the function. I currently have them reaching out to Mike Orjuski and GIS to make sure that if we do decide to go with them down the road, we're not going to have compatibility issues. We want to take care of much on the front end as we can. Mr. Keel. 
I want to take a whack at the uh, revenue side of things here for your guys' department because you do charge fees. Um, we talked about this some in email. I understand that you're looking into uh, reevaluating the contracts for when the billing department provides services for other municipalities. Um, what type of uh, plans do you potentially have to update the fee structure for the building permits that your department issues? I would note that they were last updated in 2017. We had this little bit of inflation since then. Right, right now, it's that's kind of just a twinkle. I mean, everything else on the plate is is bigger, and I'm looking at harder. I'm not looking at inundating the public with higher fees for my office when they can go to Kroger and get that. But I am looking at doing that for services that we provide to other municipalities that are charging exorbitant fees and making money off the backs of us. Now, I don't mind that, but I want at least a zero sum gain. I want I want at least to have our expenses covered. So I'm looking at raising uh, raising the prices to them. Um, that'll be done individually as each one of their contracts expires and we renegotiate. And you know, if they push back, we'll deal with that with negotiations. If they don't, then we'll move forward. Well, I, I can't speak for my colleagues, but I, I would kind of hope that we move it up from a twinkle to something a little bit more imminent in that uh, earlier in this meeting at the very beginning we talked about revenue projections and we're looking for ways to fill a shortfall here. Um, I'm not advocating for raising rates exorbitantly, but inflation is a real thing. We thought those rates were fair in 2017 when they were set and inflation has happened. People's wages went up and, and our costs have gone up. Therefore, it seems pretty reasonable that the fees that we would charge would go up as well. When we get behind, then the result is that it's a bigger jump, which probably makes it a little bit more difficult to pass and, and causes the public to be like, gee, I just pulled a permit last year and it was you know this amount and now it's you know a 30% increase. So it seems to make sense to me to make smaller adjustments, inflationary adjustments along the way, rather than doing big leaps and bounds every five years. So just my two cents on Good that. point, I agree with that. Okay, Mr. Novak. I just want to clarify. When you talk about fees to other municipalities, recently your department's been taking on the doing the inspections for several communities that do not have a building department. So we're providing those services. So I just want everybody to understand that. Um, and then when you talk about the, the vendor, are you talking about somebody that could do the blueprints and what Beacon is doing? Yes, I would like to eliminate the use of two programs and right. consolidate Got down it. to one. If Thank we you. can get one yep. that is the same cost or a little bit less than what we're paying between the two, that would be great. Thank and you. even if it's a little bit more, if it's that good, I, I'd consider it. Yep. Any other further discussion? Because we have a motion and a second on the floor. Hearing none. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any nays? Aye. One nay. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Believe it or not, we're ahead of schedule. Yes. Good. Weights and measures. Oh, he's bringing his assistant. Good morning, Honorable Council. Dakota Euler, Weights and Measures. Yeah, Mike, good morning. 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 You can be back just a little bit from that microphone. It's picking up <laughs> good and clear, so thank you very much. Um, your, your assistant today? Absolutely. Um, my assistant is Matthew King. All right, morning. Welcome, Matthew. Welcome, Dakota. Um, is there any questions, comments, or anything before I ask? The increases. So I... <laughs> Okay, there, uh, I, if you want to do it or... Yeah, go ahead. It doesn't matter. You go. go. Okay. Um, I had um, two things. One is uh, the extra part-time, but I'll get to that in a second. It's just a conversation at this Absolutely. point. And then the second is there's some increases in office supplies, um, repair equipment, and then there's a decrease of the same amount for telephone. And I don't know why the telephone got removed. Okay, so as a department head on... I became on July 1st, I decided to take a county phone. Um, previously to me, um, it was billed at a per minute rate for the telephone account. 
So having the county phone, I eliminated that. And that goes under the commissioners? Correct. Okay. Uh, so And so the other, you uh, is there a reason for increasing the repairs and office supplies, or could we have just eliminated? Just a square. Uh, my my in, intentions are to bring this, as the previous departments had said, um, from the Flintstones to the Jetsons. Um, it has been brought to my attention that across the state, most of these departments are going more digitally. Um, I'm still using paper forms for the uh, 9,000 tests that we did last year. And uh, I'm, I'm looking to bring those to the digital format, and so I anticipated uh, the office supplies to go up for ink, paper, um, and then the additional supplies, um, and put the money into the other 200 account just in case I needed uh, additional appropriation to that 200 account. Repair equipment? Correct. Repair equipment says what? I, I, I put it in the, uh, the repair and equipment um, in case there was additional costs in the office supplies at a future date that would be easy to transfer. I also noticed that we have 415 uniforms and nothing's been spent. Um, from my understanding is that um, it was left for me and my assistant to get uniforms once I took over um, and so we look forward okay. to getting those spent. Okay. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. I still have one more. I want to go back to my other point. I said it's really just discussion. It's not part of it. We're only approving the 2,000, 200 and 300 counts, and it was on the um, extra time. Are we in increasing the number of hours? Uh, not the increase of hours. It's my understanding that the previous part-time was working 28 hours per week, and so I took that hourly hours a week times the hourly wage, which is at the maximum of 1650, and that's where I got that equation. Okay, so we have any other discussion? Previously, what did that position pay? Uh, well, it was before uh, the increase. I, I wouldn't know, I do apologize. <coughs> Part session. Just for clarification, part-time went up when we gave everybody a raise, so. And I don't, if I'm correct, I don't think weights and measurements ever added that into their. But, Yep, the yep. equation. Mm -hmm. Just as a statement, because people that our minimum wage is not that sixteen fifty. It's okay if that's the end of Kevin, but we have we, it's an increment raise. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we got to make sure that that's that. Yeah, we should start off. <clears throat> well, I, I, I did start the. And I did start the part time at, at at a lower weight, and I figured you know if he sticks around for six months, then. Right, he's sitting right. I know. <laughs> Can hear you. Know. Shouldn't talk about it. What was he started at then? Uh, fifteen fifty. Okay. Which is uh, equivalent to what he was uh, making at a previous employer. Okay. okay, we have a motion and a second. No further discussion. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any nays? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see both of you. Thank you. Just me or... And there's no major capital cost because we just bought the truck last year. Okay, is there anybody here for MS4? <clears throat> On Zoom? Really? See MS4? Is he doing MS4? Joe, are you doing MS4 today? You just Joe, we can't hear you. Somebody well, he was from He's unmuted, but no, I thought he, I thought he was still doing it. But. He's not muted. <clears throat> Is the speaker turned up? That's Rich. If he's serious. Rich, can you hear us? Oh, Joe dropped off. Let me try to call Joe. He might be walking I'll over. Hear you. Okay, um, we'll move on and come back to MS4. Are you up with? Go ahead. That's okay with everybody. Wait, wait a second. Okay, thank you. Bye. Right. 60 seconds. Next one will be here. It'll be here in 60 seconds. He's going to come over. Okay. Well, at this time, I'd like. To, well, at this time, I'd like to take a five-minute break. That's okay for with everybody. All right. All right. All right. The Flintstones, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dusty Swift. Oh, he didn't know who that was. You guys are all pulling myself. I said pull up the Wikipedia article. One and a half. Okay. Yeah. Big Joe. Spending. So with the 1.5, and what we were putting the OGF for forecast total revenue, that's going all over the general, right? Correct. So that's 49, all so break even. Break even. Break even. Let's see. How do you come up with 49? Because the one, the 1. 1.5 for this year, for, for 2024, we're looking at the. The increase of money. Like said, oh, right. Yeah, the basis right to about one forty nine. But but those are projected revenues. That's not yeah. actual revenues. Correct. Yeah. yeah. It's the best we have right now. Yeah. yeah. So, but ideally, yeah, it should be below forty nine. So right now we're. Which which thing? Going through about. We're two things. One is the. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> yeah. And the county highway isn't even here yet. Yeah. It's taxes. Thank you. Yeah. Come on down. Those, uh, if you, you may take a look at like the, the 1782 report, which is in the back here, because that's what we actually submit to them. Yeah. You can see some of the different revenue sources there. Oh, yeah. But no, I'm, not, I'm just looking at where are we today? At the end of the day, yeah. are we ahead or are we behind? Is that the one? Yeah, I guess under this page. That they, they didn't transfer it correctly. see the revenues by. In previous years, yeah. we've never really gotten above. You know, it looks like 49 back here. I don't know why that one was so much higher, but you know, in recent years, yeah. Oh, I'm always really leery about property tax revenue projections because they just don't always come true. Yeah. No, I know. I'm just yeah. trying to come to something. Yeah. The old park school in Michigan City. That, oh my gosh, I was on the council when they gave that property to, to the person that the, from the, the person that originally. Well, they need to. Becky Williams. Oh, she took care of all the paperwork and stuff for them when she passed away. 22. So. Um, Everything can get rid of those. Push to someone else. You know, for an employee. Yeah. Well, city of the 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 city of it's hurt. Actually, it's hurt. Actually, it's hurt. Um, it's hurt. 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 It's <laughs> no, it was good, man. Good. I um actually was just popping on to see where you guys were at before I walked over. So, okay. I popped on and they're like, "Are you ready?" I'm like, uh, uh, it, "I am muted, but like, I don't know, whatever." So that's why. Are we out of clock? Which is what I was planning on doing anyway. But we are. Then I'll make the call. Do that. Reggie, real quick here. That's something that I One day at a time. Yeah, below the sandwich. That's pretty good. <laughs> Bam. Usually. He's okay. Last time it was, uh... Oh, God, I've lost weight. He's lost weight. No, the wrist section was That was really good. North side. North side. I don't eat very much. Well, you know, they keep saying that they don't eat very much. I know I was talking about the software I was talking about. I don't know. And he goes, no, you weren't. I go, no. 
That's not what it's talking about. She advertises. She has house next to the EMS. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I got to I got to advertise. Then I got to advertise. She was the attorney. I, I, I did fancy. I said, the attorney advertised. Put legal notice in the paper. No. She was, I went to their meeting. They approved the tear and tear everything down. All they got to do now is just advertise. Mad because he's imagining the attorney. They're fighting. Yeah. You know what? You can use that. Years. Oh, we were six. Seventy four. Right. I said to him, How many more years do you have? He truly is trying to joke with him. He knows that. That's what that's about. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. So. No, just a few minutes ahead of time. We're not that far ahead. Yeah. We're not that far I'll tell you something. When you're staring at my just Yes, Randy. Okay, gentlemen, Different we uh, get we started in a moment. Different software. Ooh, flipping myself around. Yeah, so it's because it was, cause it was uh, on your question, on your question, I'm sorry, so that one year we brought in $7 million. That's just one example. Again, there's two funds. I told you that's why I said there's two different kind of funds. One takes a year to, to get your money. The one comes in, it bids at 100, 300, and, and um, 500. So business, house, business, land, house, and business. So since those funds were, if they had paid their taxes on time, were intended to go into general among other funds, how do we get them there in general on those other funds? Would you check with State Board of Accounts about how that process is supposed to work? Generally, how we do it every single year. Just before you said that, it's not going to be Yeah. It should resolve itself. I think that wouldn't be very much. Like that would be very much. That would be very much. Yes. Yep. That's what kind of the corporate term. Oh. So just kind of try and track it. Yeah, it's kind of, that's kind of cool. Glad I checked the email. I did. I was looking to see if one I saw. Yeah, that was perfect. That was perfect. We needed the break. So as soon as we needed it. Previously. Oh, it's a measure. Why was it telephone in there? I don't give reimbursement to Because he chose not to take a telephone. I chose not to take a telephone. Did you know that was I didn't know it was an option either. I didn't even hear Yeah. I didn't know that was an option. I. 
I'm just, I, I just say. That's why I asked for a $400 question. I know it's Is that an option? No. She still has time to get that one. Oh yeah, treasure. No, it's for. Had the right page, just read the wrong tab. Uh, you getting ready, Mike? Oh, you have yeah, they got money in your project. Are we ready to get going? Okay. Yes. Okay, we're going to resume the budget hearings on 724. It is approximately 1020. Um, the next topic was MS4, and for that we have our Commissioner Joe Haney. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Would you care to share the story of MS4, how we're projecting it to run MS4? Because it's changed compared to what we have. Yeah, it has. Um, so. Uh, under some of the current state guidelines, which have changed, um, we need a program coordinator and we need to develop some of our certain plans, which we're working on now. Uh, later this month, we're having a uh, inspection from IDEM uh, and, and they're coming up to inspect some of our stuff. First, for more quality, they're going to start, like, for example, a county highway garage. We've been out there uh, uh, once now, did a walkthrough, did some things, trying to prep things for where we'll be uh, when that inspection comes through, which is good. So you'll see a little bit of a difference on here. Um, some of it, the budget overall is decreased from last year a little bit, and we tried to be more uh, more frugal with the money to try and keep things more in line with what we actually need to do. Um, we dropped a few of the things such as um, such as educational services. State does a lot of that, and some of it some of it was simply um, not stuff that actually really goes to educating the public. Some of it was more just out community outreach. Like um, if you've been to our county parks, you've seen the little. Uh, boxes with uh, the dog waste bags in them. Uh, that was from a previous thing. Um, I mean, if you have extra money and it needs to be spent from some sort of perpetuation fund, that's one thing, but um, those things really don't need to come from uh, from MS4. So that's why you've seen some adjustments here. Uh, overall, it's a little less, I think, um, and talking with Reggie Corthals, um, who uh, who worked really uh, closely to help develop this, I think this should, uh, should be sufficient to get us through the year on the off chance that um, we do need more, obviously, then you know, we might have to come back. But I think and I feel like uh, trimming up the budget a little bit and uh, appropriating funds a little bit more directly uh, will lead to a better MS4 program this year and hopefully, and allow us to hopefully next month draw in a, uh, a qualified uh, program coordinator. Mr. Yagelsky. Okay, so with that, I meant when MS4 first uh, was uh, materialized, we w worked out a county-wide program so that everybody pitched in. Um, mm -hmm. We had some failures along the way after a few years of that where I think Michigan City pulled out first and then we had some pullouts. This uh, program supervisor, will that be specific for LaPorte County or will it be for our other, our, any of our other entities? Just for LaPorte County. Every other entity is going to have to uh, develop and deal with their own. Uh, so their own entities thing. of La Crosse or Trail Creek or so on and so forth will have to do the same thing. Correct. Mm -hmm. Because they're even a, any type of municipality? Yes. So what's Well, the, any municipality that would qualify. So the larger ones, um, for sure, I, it, you know, as far as for Trail Creek, that's outside of, or not Trail Creek, I'm sorry, they need one. As far as for La Crosse, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but that would be for La Crosse to decide. We haven't, uh, one, one of the issues with a combined program like that, or we run into some issues uh, working with the state through that, as well as under the new rules, um, there was some quasi developmental things that before, you know, in the past year or two before I really got involved with this. So that's one of the reasons why we kind of decided to step and move away from it, just to try and keep us in compliance. Like if they're doing something up in Michigan City, Long Beach, whatever, the county shouldn't be on the hook for that. That's 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 their responsibility. I have no, just remove some of that liability from us. Right. So I have no I, problem with that, but like a program supervisor, somebody a smaller municipality surely can't afford it. There's some way that we could probably do a shared program with them, don't you think, or no? There would. That's more of a technical question. We would have to make sure we could do something like that with the state before we did. Sure. And it, it's it's possible we may be able to work together, but under the new rules, I don't know how well that would work. Thank you, Mr. Haney. Sure, Mr. Haney. Uh, as I'm looking through the actual expended amount for 2023, um, I'm 
if it, assuming everything's linear, uh, it looks like we may actually have about a $38,000 rollover from 23 into 24. Is that, uh, is that a mistake on my part? Or is there something I'm not, not that, aware of? Without having those full numbers here in front of me, I don't believe it's a mistake on your part. I think it's correct as um, we've, we've used less money this year. We've been uh, using uh, BSF, BFS and Reggie Corthals uh, to do a lot of our work that an administrator normally would do. We've been using, um, been pretty frugal in using a, a professional engineer to do some of the on-site inspections. And that has come in under Initially, when I looked at this, I thought anticipating that we were going to save a little bit of money doing it this way before we could get into it. And as it turns out, we've actually saved a significant amount of money doing it this way for now. One of the issues, though, moving forward is that there are a tremendous amount of things that uh, administrative work that uh, is going to have to be done by the program coordinator that while it's been getting done this year, has been shared over a workload with a number of different folks that sh shouldn't necessarily have to be doing some of this work. So that's why we've seen uh, you know, that surplus, but at the same time, we really need to roll that into here because someone needs to do that full time to, for not just to, to relieve that workload off folks that shouldn't have to do that, but also so that there's that continuity, con continuity um, moving from having one individual working through a lot of these different things to keep that to keep the ball rolling in that regard. Okay, so is the 80,950 that's being budgeted for next year, uh, that includes using up some of the 38,000 rollover that would be anticipated? It is possible. Mr. Kronk, uh, uh, well, this is a non-reverting fund. Would it roll over or is this just only revert back encumbered to it? Good for a specific reason. Yeah, good point. Yeah. yeah, so we'll see if any of that needed to be encumbered, but we'll see as that plays out throughout the rest of the year as we get a program coordinator and how that develops. Okay. May I? Uh... Commissioner Gramarosa joined us and she'd like to add something. Okay, so right now, as we stand, we're $15,905 in the hole. If you take, and I know that we can transfer from 300 accounts to other 300 accounts. In mileage, we've got $7,750 in our educational training. We were budgeted for $7,180. We did pay out $350, so we left with a balance of $683. If you take those two combined, we're at $12,580, and we paid out in vendor fees $15,900 five dollars so we're short right now three thousand three hundred and twenty five dollars when you say vendor fees are you talking professional services in the professional services that would be for the jeff wright to go out and do the permitting and then um it really shouldn't count reggie's firm because that money should have been coming from last year's budget and i think that that's where you're looking at the thirty thirty eight thousand dollars so we're not normally budgeted for that right. and then what's going to happen is that's going to fall off at some point unless we come back to you and we ask for more money so um one of the biggest problems that we're having with this account right now and i went ahead and that's what took me so long was i was trying to pull um the monies that we actually collected in fees and i don't think so what ends up happening is when they go out and they're doing the permits they're supposed to be charging a fee for that. And we're not collecting, we may not be collecting all the fees that we're supposed to be collecting. So currently, we have taken in $7,782.50. And so we went ahead and we put it into the MS4, non-reverting MS4 fund but I'm not finding it on our logger for this year. Well, I'm so what I'm going to have to do, or someone's going to have to do, is go back and find out where that money has gone to. But we do have to clear up that def deficit, and unless we're allowed to take the money, in, you know, we could write a letter and take it out of the 100 accounts and get that difference of the, the uh, 3325 and put that into the 300 accounts, we're not going to balance out on that account. And mind you, we're only halfway through. So I know that I've talked to a lot of you on the council about the idea of where we have three employees currently who work for us. 
and instead of going out and hiring somebody on the $61,000, I mean, when you look at the end of our balance, we're still at $59,592.78. And that's because even though we might be short on one account, they go ahead and they draw all the accounts together. What we need to do is seriously take a look at getting the three individuals that we have. We would be saving on benefits and getting those three individuals that are within the county so that they can do all the work that they need to do as far as like the bal balancing these accounts and everything else and it would still be a savings to us and it's something that I know I've talked to each one of you but um, I, I might be on the agenda for tonight for that correct if not, we can speak, you can open and speak yeah, about it. But it's something that we're seriously going to have to do, and I think that it's going to be a big savings. But right now, I think that the best thing is to go ahead and take it out of the 100 accounts, because even if we supplement for the remainder of the year, those three individuals will still be ahead of the game, and then we can go from there. Okay, so I don't believe that there was a request to move money or to transfer money no, yet. No, hasn't been. So we can take care of that. We can take care of that next month's meeting. So that that we can take care of. We know that we can move things from a 100 account out. So we, we do know that. Um, we've done that twice already this year. So that's not going to be a problem. What I was started my initial question was to understand and so that the public understands. And, and I'm grateful you had the opportunity to speak to each of us. Is that we have three different people that are going to be partaking in and in, in really running our MS4 group. And we've mentioned a couple of names so far, so I just want to make sure that people understand that professional services is where there's going to be a big increase from 4,000 to 15,000 next year. And that's where you just mentioned about a 15,905 overrun in the current year. It's just because we haven't transferred. Right. So, that, that'll get solved, but overall, you're still going to be in good shape because so far we spent less than 30000 on an $87,000 budget, which is the point that the 38000 roughly, which is what he was talking about at the current moment, it's not going to end that way because we all know. So the two professional services, you mentioned uh, Jeff Wright, and he does the permitting, correct? Right. And, his, and he's through his company's name, right? Right. Okay, and then we mentioned Reggie, uh, and I, I'm sorry, I apologize, Corvals, uh, Corvals, 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 I right? apologize, I, and she does it through, she's she's in a much bigger organization, she's not a, an independent, correct, she's, it's, it's, so it, it's through, and, and we've spoken about, some of us have spoken about this because we know that she has been the expert to help make sure we got our permit filed on a, as close to a timely basis as possible that had been, um, not uh, that we need that that had to be taken care of. Um, is there any other questions or concerns now that we've just shared some of these things? Yeah, one was yeah. I just want to get a clarification. So you guys are are comfortable and happy with the proposed budget that we're looking at here for MS4, right? I believe it will work. The only thing is that we have to. I mean, I think that by using an outside vendor, one of the biggest problems that we ran into, and I mean, I can read off the checks. I mean, it's it's clearly just three or four checks that we've received in. And one of the biggest problems is, is that when you have an MS4 department, then that supervisor actually understands and makes sure that for every permit that goes out that there's money coming in. And in this case, it's been a little bit chaotic for the first six months because we don't have an account ability of where those checks were going to because there wasn't actually a department head within our inner government and so when we do something like that it becomes a problem and we don't know where that money has gone to so at this point i think that there's going to have to be a search to figure out where those checks for every permit that we accepted in where did that money go for the permanent increase and i think there's there's really the only issue that we have sounds like a fun project um it, it, question it's been rough so far, if I may, because so, some of these, and we've we've tracked down a few, but most of these were going to the old building commissioner office upstairs here. So as those as they move to A Street, some of those we tracked down some. Some have popped up here and there, but there's <clears throat> likely some mail sitting somewhere for MS4, and we have not been able to locate it somewhere in one of the departments. If it's stuck in a box somewhere something else so, so this if at this point there has to be, obviously 
and this is not yeah, part of the budget here. Budget, but no. So, so we're going to we're going to kind of keep this as quick as possible at this part. At some point in time, there has to be some sort of review of, of the receipts, and then also if something's not matched, a new bill has to go out. Correct. So and then people can prove that they paid it, and the proof that they paid it will actually help find the search. So it may be that might be an easier way to start, but that's just. But we'll deal with that separate of this. So right now we have 80. You have a point? I have a question. Okay. Um, this question is more directed to the auditor's office. Um, permission is required or approval from the council is required to transfer from 100s to 300s, correct? So how do we end up with, and I'm not objecting that we're, we spent more on our professional services than out of the 100 accounts, but how did they manage to run it over the 4,000 that was budgeted without it being flagged or stopped or something? Someone, whoever's writing the purchase orders, isn't checking the balance of the account. We don't check those for each individual. We just do the general fund. Okay. So they need to personally check before they write a check. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Novak. I think the issue of the permits out, money in, goes back a long ways. Even prior to the previous, I mean, even the previous, previous, because when the other person took over, checks would come in and there's no documentation as to what exactly it went to so hopefully we can get that yeah and I actually there was up. the one good thing about um, our assistant that she did track into what accounts we put right. them into so we're going to be able to back them out you know shortly you'll, you'll probably get a letter from us and how much is in your non-reverting you know so one I would love to know what fund number that is I'm not familiar with that one with the non-reverting um, 2061 because you need the second set of numbers, correct? As you long as I have that, that account uh, to no, you? I can look it up with that. Yeah, give me one moment here. 2061. I know the previous director, there was a lot of conversation when that person took over with Guy DiMartino as to <coughs> finding the ordinances that went with these accounts. And, how, and, and if I'm not mistaken, it may have needed to be updated, but I'm not sure. So it went into bank five. Yeah, that's the normal bank. Go ahead with that full number. I don't see a 2061. Okay, so we've got um, 9001 And we would have deposited um, $4,977.50. So what is the first four numbers, the fund number? Is that 9001 or 2061 or neither? No, 9001. Excuse me, I'd like to take that offline rather than give out account numbers oh, sorry. Uh, and stuff. Well, they're and inner, you were, you were asked. Inner, you were yeah, asked so. And they are in our... Um, Maybe we can find that out later. Yeah. They're not like account know. numbers from a bank. They're yeah. actually our account numbers internally okay. that we use that's to put... Good. That's That's fine. I appreciate that. I just want right. to try and get that offline so we can move on. Um, we have. I'm sorry. My concern would be is if the ordinance needs to be updated, and this is something we can bring up to tonight's meeting with Guy D. Martino, is that if it needs to be updated, we need to make sure it's updated so that we can continue with all this and there's no snafu at the last minute. So, all right. I'll make a note. I'm just taking a note. I yield to my colleague. Oh, no. Right. Uh, is there anybody else that would like to make a comment? I, I, good. I have to apologize. I've lost track if anybody made a motion to approve. It was approve. a motion by Mr. Cunningham. And, they, and it was seconded by? I have my microphone on. Thank you. And, and do we know Sorry. who it was seconded by? Oh, no. Me. Mr. Okay. Kielski. Thank you. So we have a motion on the floor. We have an agreement from there that this is what's good. We are agreeing. So all those in favor say aye. 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 Any nays? Hearing no nays, motion carries. Thank you very much for the discussion. Thank you. Thank you. Public defender. I don't think public defender yet. They're fuzzy. Come on, Mr. Public Defender. How's the public defender get in there? We, we have um, next up on our schedule is public defender. But it's, and in order. it's not in our order here, so you just need to give us a moment to find it. Public defender, it's a through white white tab is different so different colors okay never mind might not be white tab right there uh, one of the white it's all the way near the clear labels. near the bottom thank you yep it is white just i have it in front of sheriff 
So. We find it. I'm gonna hazard to guess you are not Craig Bragey. I'm not. I'm a I am. Uh, I am a uh, bet. Oh, but you are. Ooh. Oh. Man, he just like got you right on the side of the. <laughs> Okay, uh, you were about to say your name. I'm sorry. I'm Elizabeth Plan. Thank you, Elizabeth, and thank you, Mr. Brazy. Um, is there any comments that you'd like to present to us, or would you rather, um, if we wait, have any questions? For well, the, the same thing that I, I kind of do every year for 29 years. Most of my uh, budget uh, is uh, the is designed by the requirements of the state agency, which keeps us on reimbursement. Uh, this year, uh, and, and Beth has with her, in case any members of the council are interested, the enormous increase of cases uh, that we have gotten. A lot of it is a product of the change from Ward 26. But um, we are once again asking for a additional person um, that is a compensation level for that person of 49.6 of which, uh, as long as we are in compliance, we will be reimbursed one half of that cost. In addition, um, we've requested for the first time an administrative slot uh, on a contract basis of $35,000. For 29 years, I've paid that money out of my compensation. And since this is my swan song, I did not want to leave my successor with that responsibility. Um, and then the third matter of the increase is uh, the state mandates the compensation levels of a part-time public defender and a part-time chief deputy in order to get reimbursement. Uh, that changes when the legislature changes the compensation level of all the other judicial offices, including the prosecutor. So the total increase from last year's budget is $86,806, of which the county will be responsible as long as we qualify for reimbursement for $43,403. Mr. President. Yes, sir. Mr. Brazy, um, yeah. uh, help me on my um, recollection. Um, we Last year we came in a situation about insurance and stuff and whether employees or not employees. <clears throat> how, did we, how did we end that? We ended up um, giving a $800 per month contribution towards insurance. Uh, that was only paid out uh, beginning July 1st. So uh, what was budgeted last year for every person is still sitting in our budget and will be returned to the county. Okay. Thank you, sir. Motion to approve the budget, 180. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any other conversation? Hearing one none. comment. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. As um, <coughs> in the ends on to um, Mr. Brazy's uh, board, I would uh, like to thank him for his almost 40 years, I guess, of service. Uh, he's been recognized uh, across the state of Indiana as one of the, the premier leaders in uh, public defender, and we have a lot of public defender cases in LaPorte County, as you all know. So thank you very much. I agree. I, I appreciate that. I was wondering, how does the Public Defender Board plan to, to pick uh, Mr. Bragey's replacement? Is there going to be a competitive process of hunting down that new person? Yeah, my understanding is, is that uh, the board meets again for the third quarter. And during that third quarter meeting, they'll send out a proposal for people to make application to take that position. It's a little bit different than a normal request for a proposal because the only um, discretionary parts of that proposal really are the qualifications uh, and the requirements that are made by the state. Uh, the compensation is set by the state. Um, another question I I'm wondering is, is in the long term, I mean, this is an $86,000 increase now, but in the long term, where do you see the Public Defender Department going in terms of compensation? I know I've heard discussion that you guys feel you might be underpaid or, or the benefits aren't quite there. I mean, we're constitutionally obligated to provide a, a defense to those who can't afford it. Um, are we able to do that with the funding that we have now? Now, if you ask me what my opinion is, I think the system will ultimately collapse. Um, That's ominous. And I, and I don't like to give that report. The problem is, 
first off, um, almost all of our new public defenders we hire are not in county because of the requirements that are set. As of January 1st, the Public Defender Commission is making, uh, uh, is requiring less cases to be handled by public defenders. In addition to that, uh, we continue to get a large number of cases for people who are out on bond, um, uh, who are employed. Uh, we're handling cases for adoptions. We're handling cases for domestic cases. Uh, we're handling non-criminal cases. Uh, the numbers just keep exploding. Um, the problem is, from a reasonable, as long as the reimbursement uh, schedule is in place, the county can't afford to not conform to the system. Because, for example, you know, my calculation is, assuming we spend 100% of the budgeted amount, the reimbursement is 716000 plus. There's no way in the world that this public defender system, if, if you jumped out of it, you could afford to, to service that program under that number. And, and that's really what the problem is. I, I, it, it becomes increasingly bureaucratic. It becomes increasingly political. And it's, uh, we tear our hairs out. Just to give you an illustration, last quarter, on our level six uh, public defenders, uh, we have to do it on a quarter basis. In other words, our numbers are decided on a quarter basis. We were three weeks into the quarter, and we ran out of people. Uh, we had so many cases that we could not assign to our level six deputies any more cases three weeks into a quarter. Wow. So that's that's why my 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 statements are maybe ominous so what are the solutions to those more funding or is there more no, if you know, look at everybody wants to be paid more money uh you know i'm not going to say that that but that's not the problem the problem is there needs to be a better relationship between the all the, the participants of this program uh, in terms of how we handle it. Uh, I have become totally ineffective in terms of convincing uh, the participants in the program of the things that need to be done. It's one of the reasons why I'm done. Uh, I'm hoping somebody will be more effective than I am. When you say participants, do you mean attorneys or do you mean like clients? Or I, mean, I mean clients, I mean courts. Um, I, I, I haven't had a meeting with the judges in years. Um, it's not their problem. I mean, I'm not trying to disparage the courts. It's not their problem. They're, it's my problem. And I, 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 I don't know how to respond. I've been held in contempt uh, because I was unable to provide people when they wanted them at an appropriate time. So I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe it's me. Thank you. Okay, we have a motion on the floor in a second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any nays? Hearing none, motion carries. There's another thank account you. under the public, thank you. Thank you. There's another account under the public defender's supplemental. Um, it is a claims account uh, for 75,000. Motion to approve. We second. have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. There's no increase, just so. Yes, we have an increase here. President, I'm yeah, the one no I approve. The other one's just 100 counts. Huh? No, it's a two. It's a 200 count. There's no the first public defense. Oh, the first one. Um, you know what? I've, that's why I approved it. I have it 300 counts. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Because they're under I professional guess. fees for yeah. litigation. Thank okay. Yeah. We're good there. Yep. Okay. Yes, so you. now we're moving on to the other one, and it's a 200 count. We have uh, a first and a second, and Mr. Keel? Real quick question, which was just to clarify the uh, the insurance situation. Are we continuing what we're doing now going into next year? Yeah. The, Based the... on my budget, we are. Okay. Thank you. Is that clear for the auditor's office, just so you guys have everything squared away? All right. Thank you. Okay. That was on the first one. So now we have a first and a second on this one. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any nays? 
Hearing none, motion carries. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Craig. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for being here. Of course. Thank we you. We appreciate having someone physically here. Absolutely. Okay. We now move on to the treasurer. Back up again. This goes. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. I've noticed a few increases. I don't know if anybody else wants to talk first or not, but um, I noticed a few increases. These are in the 100 accounts. I'm just highlighting them, and then um, I just want to make sure I understand. Um, and the, in the under the second deputy, it looks like we uh, are doubling our number of deputies. Do you remember that a couple months ago I came before you yes. to change the uh, classification and increase yes. the salary? I'm just making sure okay, that's we, we, we thank, highlight it because of thank you. the number. Uh, we talked about, we have in here um, the high, um, to increase um, part-time or seasonal, and then we also have in here an increase for overtime. Um, those combined are about $10,000. Correct. Um, is there anybody else that has any comments or discussion? Motion to approve two and three hundred accounts one hundred three. We have a motion to <coughs> approve two hundred three accounts. Do I have a second? Second, second. third. We have seconds all over the place. And now, Mr. Keel. Um, question on the uh, the overtime and the part time help is some of this to address the catching up from uh, books that need to be reconciled. Is that a continuation of this? Yes. When when do we anticipate that that will be completed and will be 100% caught Well, I'm up? hoping that it will be in the next three months, but I can't give you a timeline because we've had a couple glitches. We we were doing great. We we're moving forward, uh, not rapidly, but quickly, and uh, we had a problem with the Lao system, so we had to back out and redo a couple things. Lao, Lao has been fantastic to work with. They came over right away and uh, helped us with the problem. Uh, the State Board of Accounts, as I've said a couple times, has now required that after every month we give them an update so that they can say yes, move forward, or no, go back. Um, so every month at the end of the month we we contact Lao and the State Board of Accounts to move forward. And that takes a couple couple minutes. Uh, I mean, the last glitch has taken two weeks to, to fix. So uh, we've got our uh, reconciliation and our cash book reconciliation moving forward. And hopefully, like I said, in hopefully three months, we do have another tax collection, though, starting usually starts in uh, the beginning of October. So so when you say caught up, you mean like completely all the way to present date, right? Or just all of No. The... Oh, okay. <laughs> caught up to uh, 2022. Okay, so 2022 will be finished in a couple. Right. Uh, well, 2020 will be uh, caught up by in three months, hopefully, and then move forward to do the, uh, to get caught up to 2022. We're trying to um, work simultaneously with all the years, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so the whole thing, all the way up to present. I can't tell be, you. I can't give you a date. It'll be into next year. Yeah. Now. Okay. Yeah. We, um, this is like balancing your checkbook on steroids, <laughs> but it's not your checkbook. It's somebody else's checkbook, and you're trying to figure out why they spent that, where it should come from, uh, if you're in the right category or not. It's it's very very confusing. So. Can, can you just okay. explain the process that you're going through? Because it's not just you having enough help, because we've had these conversations. Right. Mr. Yagelski and I have talked to you, and it's like, what do you need? What yeah. help can we give yeah. you? Uh, the, the, <clears throat> okay, so the first, first part of that is that we have asked the State Board of Accounts if we could hire a firm to or someone to help us move forward, and they told us, no, they want us to do it ourselves so that we know we're experienced enough to keep going forward by ourselves. The um, second part is 
uh, and, and any of you are welcome to come in the office and look at this process. We have um, boxes and boxes of daily work that um, when we're doing this reconciliation, we have to take one of those boxes, we go through the box and make sure that we can categorize each day. Some days there are maybe two or three things to post. Some days there are 50 things to post. You, you never know. You're just not sure if it's, uh, you know, um, 100 things to, to reconcile or one thing to reconcile. So that's, it's, that's kind of the, how, the way the process works. Um, what are, we have a part-time person who goes through and tries to separate everything um, so that when uh, the next person takes it, we can just enter it into the system. And in everything is done, by the way, in the Lao system, which previously was not. Previously, some of it was done by hand, and some of it was done in the Lao system. And then once you get a month done or something, then where does it go? Who? Once we get a month done, <clears throat> we send it to Lao so that they can look at it and make sure it's okay. Then they send it to the State Board of Accounts with their approval. State Board of Accounts gets back to us and says, yep, go. go. You can't move forward until you have that approval. That's right. Until we have, until we have that approval. I absolutely can confirm that from the State Board of Accounts. Uh, yes, we have Mr. Yagelsky. Yeah, that being said, Joy, um, Mr. Winsky, uh, you that was where we kind of referenced as we understood that State Board of Accounts wouldn't accept an outside firm, but like you're going to have to do some other work. Why don't we bring in that extra firm like Mr. Novak and I suggested, Grab that data, then you go ahead and check it. Then the state, then then Lull checks it. Then it goes to state board. Well, here, here's that the problem. Can, okay, hang on, just, just just one second, because that's you have other operation, other business matters to do. I, they never said we couldn't do it. They're just not going to accept it. So if we take, if you take their that data that firm A would do to give them that, where you have time to do it new next, to give it to Lull, then give it to to the state board of accounts. That's where I think we can help you. Well. Anything we can do I, to I, Right, and I appreciate that, and I wish it was that easy. I didn't say it was that easy. I, right, I but think it's, here's, it's, here's the problem. We, <laughs> excuse me, we had 2019 done that way, and um, the State Board of Accounts accepted it, but the problem is, is that that firm did not tell us what, what and how they were doing it. We thought they thought we knew, and and we kept. A I kept asking, and Christy uh, kept asking. They sent us paperwork, but the paperwork to us was like looking at Greek. I mean, it just. But there are other firms out there. <laughs> there, there are, but we're halfway through the process. Or not? Well, you make it. <laughs> there's gonna be another year, so we're not quite halfway through the process. Um, well, it, yeah. Uh, to, to move forward, but I think once we get finished with this, uh, with 2020, it's going to go much smoother and much faster because that's when we um, start started. <coughs> Excuse me. But, but, but you are going to so, be collecting taxes and you're going to do other stuff. Yeah. Too, so. But uh, I would ask that we uh, just, like the State Board of Accounts says, move forward until we get finished with this. Uh, we've we've got I've got another staff member who started today, and so I'd like to see how quickly we can. And Amy is also helping with it. So um, we had um, we have all of our small banks finished. We just have to do the large bank. That's what we're finishing now. I know in the past your department was able to do. Other departments have helped out with with the tax collection when it does. Right. Happen. Right. Hopefully, then we can do this so that you can take a couple people and concentrate on this because this. That's what we are doing. Okay, you said you said you had to stop because of this. You said. Well, we stopped during tax collection. We should, but, we should have other departments but this, help out. This year, we're I'm hoping to just go sail right through. <clears throat> How many employees in your office? Who asked that? Earl. Earl, I have um, I have two full time in Michigan City. Uh, three full time in uh, Laporte and one part time. I I one, wanted to uh, when we 
interviewed for the full-time position just recently. We only got three applicants and um, none of them had any kind of financial background so I, I really but what one person <laughs> did have um, was she spoke Spanish and I'm really looking for a part-time person who speaks Spanish to come in, into our office. That person could be uh, a big help to not only my office but the auditor's office and the assessor's office. So uh, anybody knows anyone who speaks Spanish <coughs> fluently, please send them and wants to work part-time. Tim, you speak Spanish, don't you? No, I took four years in high school though. <laughs> I'm sure that'll get you real far. <laughs> um, I have a question that I want to bring up or a conversation I'd like to bring up which is about interest and I don't know if you were on uh, Zoom or, uh, or here when we started the meeting and we were talking about revenue projections no. and whatnot and we may have a shortfall in the general fund if our revenues don't increase before the end of the year. Um, I know you know I've been passionate about interest income because it's a but big I'm going to tell you that interest is not going to make up. It, oh no, it's know, not going to close the gap, no, but it does get no closer. No way. Um, we are currently earning three percent, I believe now. No, the, no. Five point two percent on the checking. On the checking, well, I'm talking about investments. I'm I'm in on the uh, checking account. I think it's a little over three percent. Okay. Um, is there a reason that we haven't looked to doing something that's going to get a higher return? I brought up the Trust Indiana Fund, which is earning 5.1% right now. That difference of 2% is pretty sizable when you consider the totality of the county's assets. Well, I appreciate your willingness to, to help, but number one, it's, that's my job, not yours. I know. Number two, uh, we did a thorough investigation before we invested money this time. And uh, the best rate we got was the 5.2, I think it's 5.214 or 19, I can't remember. Uh, and um, you're talking about checking account. Uh, we prefer to keep our money local at Horizon Bank. And I prefer not to discuss any balances or go any further with that. But you're welcome to come into my office. Uh, yeah, but I've... Any one of you. So, a couple points there. One, Trust Indiana does keep it within the state of Indiana. I know we're committed to trying to keep it here locally, but we also have a fiduciary obligation to make sure that we get the highest interest and, rate possible. And you're talking about investments as opposed to a banking account? Trust Indiana is essentially acts like a checking account. You can put money in and pull money out at any time. Right, but, but we have a bank account that that's what we have to have yes we have to have trust a bank indiana account. Does not i can't place the bank i can't take entirely. all of our money and put it in trust indiana we much as you would like me almost to, i all can't okay. um thank you very much for entertaining the conversation on on that i appreciate it um what i i do want to just ask one did sure. we get the five million cd is it did it come due and did we get the money back it's out of that bank. Thank you. Now, we can it's, stop there. I, yeah, it's, it's in transit. Let me just say that. They're, they're putting some pressure on me because if we do not reinvest it, they take the ATM out. So I have been speaking with the Sheriff's Department. Not that ATM, but... Fine. Right, that, the ATM that's right outside here. That one? I thought it was the one in Community Corrections. Nope, it's here. Okay. Uh, if if I uh, take the five million back, which it's not invested at this point, um, then they take out the ATM. So I've talked to the sheriff, and uh, they're going to get back to me and give me some feedback on how many people uh, how, how many people they think use it. I don't think anybody except maybe the bank has kept track of who uses it and who doesn't use it. Um, the the problem is though is that they kind of are holding us hostage with that. So, and I, we do not make any money on those transactions. I, and, and I appreciate you answering the first question, which was a big concern. And the rest is, we will something to be worked out to possibly even a local bank or two uh, to figure that out. So I do appreciate you entertaining that that question. Um, we have a uh, do we have I believe we have a motion and a second on the floor. Yes. 
Um, any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any nays? Motion carries. Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy your lunch. Thank you. You too. Thanks, Jerry Bound. And we'll jump We're moving on to hazmat. No. no shelter. Sorry, no shelter. they're the ones that moved to the next day. Yeah. Animal shelter. All right, animal shelter. My apologies, we're skipping. Oh yes, I think I'll do this. Good morning. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <coughs> well, it's ours to use. Oh, it's ours. Okay. So we know who's next. Did I put one at the beginning? Yeah. Oh, same thing. The, mm -hmm. Yeah. Please. There's no increases at all in your two and three hundred accounts. No. Motion to approve. We, uh, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Now, Mr. I just, I just want to no, prime no. the pump, so to speak. The issue with the animal, I, I, maybe it's not the animal, I maybe it's not, with the shelter out there, mm -hmm. like a better term, is Dr. Dora, who's been there for many, many years, um, is getting ready to retire. So the problem is, is finding another vet that's willing to come in and do that. And obviously there's a, a shortage of vets mm -hmm. everywhere. And the, the salary increase is, the, with the people that we're seeing out there, is dramatically higher um, than what we've been paying Dr. Dora. So we're, the search, it's hard enough just finding somebody, Correct. but the one that we've kind of been in talks with is, is quite a bit higher than uh, and that's having somebody out there three days a week. So right now the shelter's having to outsource a lot of stuff, which is adding to the cost out there. So right. I just want to add that. So at some point when they do find a vet, we're gonna may, we might have to restructure the 100 accounts, and maybe we'll have that all worked out by the time 100 accounts comes I'm out. Let me talk to Monique about <clears throat> possibly just putting it out there and just see if we can mm -hmm. find someone else. We've done it once before and right. haven't been able to. So. Yep. And, and I'm sorry, which which account is it that specifically deals with the vet? I have vet in hospital, a three a 300 account, but you said there's a 100 account? Well, it could be outside. It could be vet in hospital is one, I guess it would be. Which okay. one is Dr. Dora paid out of? Well, the way it's typically, or the way it's been handled over the years since we've started is the veterinarian salary has always been covered by a grant. But that grant is not with the veterinarians and the proposals that we're getting right now. That grant is nowhere near enough to. Right. That's the shortfall. There's, that's where we're at. Right. And how much is the grant typically? Depending oh, on where, the market. Where do you think it's headed? It's usually between forty and 50000 50, a year. Is there any possibility of uh, working with the Purdue University Veterinary Services on their campus? We have. We've worked with Dr. Plazzi, one of the lead vets, and she's trying to help us. But, we haven't been able to find anyone through her either. Yeah. Okay. Do right. you? Uh, is it possible to use uh, interns? I mean, they're they're obviously almost doctors. That's the problem with like everyone coming out of school. I was talking to Dr. Or everyone coming out of school already has a job, something lined up. There's just a shortage of vets across the board, across the country. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? I believe we have a motion and a second on the floor. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any nays? Hearing none, it's motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate Thank your time. You. And yes, please let us know when we get close to resolution and hopefully you can do so in the next month or two. Great, will do. Thank you. Let's come on. The 104 is just 100 accounts. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. First of all, thank you for coming early. No problem. Um, we appreciate it because um, it just you know, enables us to get a better break in our schedule. Absolutely. Um, so, the the recorder 104 account is is uh, is mentioned is um, the 100 accounts. There's no increase on there as of yet. We go to the next one, uh, the claims, and there's nothing on there because is, is that being zeroed out? You're eliminating that. Um, the recorder county identification. 22, the budget was... The identification one, yeah, I really don't... Um, what that does is basically 
the money is being used for redacting social security numbers. And the state realized that it's impossible to figure out how much time it took because we might redact two, three social security numbers a day, which takes maybe 15, 20 seconds. So how do you actually do this, right? And so what they did is that they allow us after a certain amount of time to just transfer the money from that fund to perpetuation fund. And so I find no need to keep it a separate budget for that. And it just, since we pay a couple of the salaries out of perpetuation fund anyway, it just makes it the process so much easier. So are we going to eliminate that account or just um, leave it zero for now? Leave it zero. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that brings us to the third and I believe the final sheet <clears throat> um, on budgeting, which is um, the pe perpetuation fund. We have some 100 accounts which picks up some people and we'll come back to that. App. But we also have the um, 2,000 accounts. There's a the big one. The big one right now is at three thousand. Would be the data conversion. What was it? Yes. So in the past, um, we did not have a fund that we should have had established a long time ago, and that's the public access fund. That's when someone uses the online service that we have to look up the information. And once I learned that we we're supposed to have the fund, I had it created. And also, State Board of Account told us, no, you cannot have what we, the, when I took over the office, it was credits that we earned. And then at, at some point when they grew to a certain amount, we would get that one big check and then we didn't really know what to do with it or where to put it. Well, it turns out that we should have been putting them into that fund that didn't exist. So now that we have that fund, we get a check every month, the money goes there, it's being split um, because of depending on if it's prints or the fees for using the process. And so now the money is going where it should go on monthly increments, which means I don't have those credits. Credits before were used to pay for the microfilm and to pay for the Laredo usage. So now we just pay, pay a bill in a normal process versus using credits. And so that's why it shows as if I'm spending more money when in fact I'm not. Well, you're, you're, um, so what, what are you bringing in? What, what are your fees for that use of that? Uh, we get a small portion of it uh, to a customer. Right now it's 695 The price is going to go up. I think we get like 250 out of that. 250 right now out of it? Right, and then there is a certain amount we get for a uh, copies How too. How much money do you have in that fund? Which one? The fund of your two fifty. Um, in two fifty, not a fifty cents that you're getting per. Well, we get about around three thousand a month, depending on the month. How much usage is there between twenty five hundred to three thousand a month? So, could that difference that you have make up for the the budget of the thirty to fifty four thousand? This is all in our perpetuation yeah. fund, but right. Well. So your budget is going up $24,000 based off of this, but your revenue that you're going to be bringing in is going up even more than that. You said it's about $3,000 a month, so right. $36,000. Yeah. Right. So, so new revenue, new expense, it's a wash. Basically. What I meant was, so if we have that new revenue, um, is there any way that you can, as we look back into the 100 accounts, try to supplement anything else with you? How much money do you have in that account? You got which is in our perpetuation, perpetuation fund. In perpetuation fund, um, I think it's a little over 900,000. Much? 900? Well, last time we, you know, this has happened during not just your administration, but other ones back with uh, Lois and Stanley and so on and so forth. And I know that you guys gracefully help us to discount. But about 900,000, I think that would be nice if we could at least pick up another employee this year that, that would help us tremendously in that, and that not really rob your fund. I understand that, but I don't just pay salaries out of that. I also pay um, the insurance and OSC and uh, retirement, all of it. Right, right, yeah. right. So your your numbers, have, well, once they've started getting up, this has happened in the other administration, once you get close to a million, those funds are, are that's a lot of funds to have in an Correct. account that you really can't spend that much with every year. Actually, I'm about to spend some of it. Oh, yeah. how much, that. How much, I'll go with that. How much are you going to spend this year? 
right now I'm looking at a couple of projects because I have the books in the um, my vault needs some work uh, right now the temperature and moisture control it's not as it should be okay. so I'm possibly looking at some of the equipment being uh, redone um, and then the books I have hundreds of books yeah we've we're been, talking yeah, almost you guys have been doing that over the years but I mean well no I'm talking about where you have the books taken apart right now the paper and the ink that was used was full of acid so if we leave it this way the books will fall apart eventually so the process will be to remove the acid from each book and the, what they do is they spray every page separately I agree because they take it apart put it back together and I understand that cost is around um, $900 a book it, it, and that's that's a great program. and that's what I have to do that's right. my job that's a that's good a job but that's a great program so you, you introduced doing books and that's good and you fixed the vault that's good but you know as these fees go up there is it we're, we're about seven to nine hundred thousand I would think that we, we, we could try to at least what, maybe take care of an employer or part-time uh, something that can knock it down uh, well doing we do we do have a two employees on a part-time position right. but once what happens with this is Every about few years, that fee go that when the fees go up to the level they are, and you're getting back to the million dollars. Again. So we, I'm not saying those products are not worthwhile. I'm doing this on the fly here, but I'm looking at 2022's uh, the revenue from county recorder fees was 253,000. Looks like you're, and that would be going into the recorder's perpetuation fund, right? Right. And this year we're proposing a budget of 254,000. So based off of that, if revenue from 22 stays the same in 24, which it's hard to say, but it will not. Um, it will go up or go down. down because we don't have as many transactions as we did. Yeah. Um, the interest rates are up. People are not buying as many homes. They're not refinancing, really and that means we're making less money. I, so you mentioned some, you, I know you didn't hear here. I, I'm in real estate. You are. What? She said the real estate transactions are going down. I, I've just made people are selling houses. Oh. Cur currently, the transactions are going down because there are not enough homes and the interest rates are right. The rates Things are slowing. Right. Refinances are down big time. That's the biggie. Yeah, because I went right now, mid year, I have less documents by, I would say, 10,000. Right. Okay. I, because of the amount going up, I, I still would like to ask if we could at least. Uh, find a way to at least par partially pay another employee. This and this year, well, that will not reduce your amount. That will still give you two projects, which are great projects. I'm not knocking your projects, mm -hmm. but it would help out tremendously on our budget because you know we gave raises away last year, as you well know, right? At high numbers, and you know, if you, I don't, you didn't hear at the beginning, the revenues are down, down, down. So it would help us if we could find a way to try to help us in this um, endeavor um, and still get you accomplished what you want to get done. I think the books are a project, a good project, and over the years it'll, it'll be a, a long-term investment. Yeah. But I, I would really, I, cause we're, you know, I said we started revenues um, just for your, just for your quick one. Cash balances were like, you know, Jeez, it's been twelve million, ten million, right? On that. Down to four million. So we're we, because of all that stuff we have done here last year, we've reduced the pie quite a bit. So Any little bit would help. Well and I think you can still do what you, I still believe you could do what you do and still give us a hand on with this account without without it going down that far. And if you can't the following year, I understand. If the next year the following year you can't do it. I think what he's basically saying is that you're already paying your second deputy. And the first deputy is making fifty three thousand four hundred. If you paid the first deputy and another twenty thousand for fringes it's still only be seventy thousand dollars. That's kind of a small fee out of the nine hundred thousand. And, okay. and may I add, um, could you do that for one year? Sure. And then double check with us again next year. One thing, uh, I will. I did provide the auditor with a sworn statement, which I guess I'll have to redo because if it has a very specific number, mm -hmm. it's the budget number. It will have to be redone. Uh, the number number would have to be corrected, and I would have to figure out the exact amount to add that salary. Um, because I'm required by the state law to have that sworn statement, and then um, what's the amount? Well, average? The, the figure I'm using here is two. I see yep. on some of your uh, other account on page three, 
you're paying um, clerk's salary and you're also paying all the fringes. Correct. Okay, so couldn't you also, and you're paying the second deputy's salary, so couldn't you pay the first deputy's salary of 53000 plus the fringes for one year and then reconsider it in the next year? And that's seventy-five or eighty thousand. Let's say it's going to be less than ten percent of that nine hundred thousand. Anything out there? Okay. She could profit some possibly. I can do that. Um, yeah. how, when do I have to provide you with the numbers? Because I would have to have some help figuring out how much the. Well, that's in the one hundred account anyway. So we're we're not doing those. So Actually, you have you, you have time. time. Okay. We're only going to approve the two three hundred accounts today, but within a couple of months we're going to start the hearings on the. Um, if not, you know, as soon as we can, we're going to start the one hundred. So it's okay. there'll be there'll be adequate time. Uh, I do have a, I do have a question, Ian, um, for you. Uh, a couple of years ago in twenty one, um, you had filled a part time position. Then I don't see you've used it this year so far. And the question is. Uh, the reason for you bringing somebody on board was to um, help get all the records caught up. Right. I was just kind of curious after a couple of years, that, and, and now you're saying there's even less transactions. Because our transactions dropped so much, um, we have more time to do the back indexing, and so I felt that uh, it's fiscally responsible to not. Okay. Fill that position since okay. the part-time person moved to full-time. And and we appreciate it. And Mr. President, I'd like to move that we approve the two and three hundred accounts and ask uh, that uh, we support her position of trying to uh, pay for her first deputy and all benefits not to exceed ninety thousand dollars. Second. For, and one year. For, yeah. Be considered it's again at the end of the year. Okay. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any other further discussion? One quick question. So, what's Ms. Bild, Ms. Bildrack, could you uh, explain the volatility in the office supplies? It's just gone from 81000 or excuse me, yes, $81,000 down to $21,000, and now we're at five. That's because it was never supposed to be that. Um, <laughs> first of all, the 25 it was budgeted at five. The 20 was, again, the credits that we got back as one big lump sum. Not sure what to do with it. It just got put there. I never used it. Okay. Um, and then the 87, I'm not even sure what that was about. Um, again, it was something about moving funds around, and uh, they end up in that place versus where they should have been. We were not sure what to do with it. Uh, and again, it was not used. So. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're doing a great job. Thanks. Anything else? Okay. Well, um, let us do the motion. Any other comments? Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any nays? Hearing none. Okay. Thank you Thank very you. much. Motion carries. Um, we're now going to take our lunch break. President, yes, sir. Uh, in light of the fact that we're early on our lunch break, could we be uh, rescheduling some of these people in the afternoon? Um, we, we're being asked by uh, Mr. Cunningham. We can try and reschedule. We certainly can start um, calling a few people. I would, I would say, take them from the end, so you're giving them a lot of notice. You know, you like want to do the auditor's office right now. I mean, I'll volunteer the council <laughs> to come early. Obviously, the council and auditor are here. Could we call Soil and Water and voter registration and ask them to come earlier? I'll call voter registration. I'll do that oh, right that, now. Anybody got a contact with Soil and Water? I'll call the auditor. Voter registration so under the so we're not, we're, registration so you're asking not to take a break right now to continue on. No, I'm saying let's take the break. Take the break and then immediately and perfectly. Right. Perfect. Okay. We're we're gonna make that attempt. Um, with the auditor's help. Thank you. Thank you.